Hola, good morning. <laughs> Welcome good morning, good morning. to our second day of fun times on Adobe Live, where uh, I'm your host today, Dasi Signs uh, from the After Effects team, and I'm here with Valentina V and Shameless Maya. You guys. Good morning. <laughs> please enter yourselves. Oh, hi. Tell, yeah. tell us a little bit about, for those of you who weren't here with us well, having us, a blast tell yesterday. Tell us a little bit about yourself. No, no, yes. no, no, no. Please, let's take it back. Who are you? What do you do? Why wow, wow, did y'all plan this too? <laughs> was, this a, was this a back on? Wow, wow. Uh, well, I'm here because I love talking with creative people. I love talking about workflows. I love learning new workflows. I love skill sharing. Uh, my background was in filmmaking back in the day and uh, then somehow I ended up in software development, which I didn't see coming, but I love, love, love uh, representing the user's voice on the After Effects team and getting to, I, I feel like I'm getting my PhD in After Effects. That's what I'm working on. Me too. Yes. Because we had some like great guests yesterday too and I was watching their streams and I was like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tune in. We've got a, a full skills. day of really great, amazing artists uh, sharing their skills, animation skills pre predominantly. We've got, uh, Pablo Lozano, whose work is incredible. Check him out on Instagram, coming up later. And uh, Jake, Jake in motion. motion and Evan Avery. I was taking notes because I'm going to go and Google them when all of this is said and done because I don't know much about After Effects. Totally. But now That's back to you. Here. Who are you guys? Um, my name is Valentina V. I am an independent filmmaker. I also, so I shoot and edit a lot but I also do um, After Effects and I do design work. I have a background in design. I went to design school. And I'm more about, I'm less about like being super, super techie and more about like, what's the design? What do you want to accomplish? What makes sense for your brand or for your show or whatever? And then, you know, figuring out how can we do that efficiently or like how do we build that together? Um, how to create a vision. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, because like you know, anybody can can be like super nerdy and geeky. And I think it happens in the camera world too. Everyone gets like so bogged down with like new cameras, new lenses, yeah. all this new stuff. And it's like totally. But what's your idea? But what's though? the? What are you? What? How what are you telling? What are you, are you trying to learn to propel your story forward? Which yeah. at the end of the day, you know, especially in a world where there's like so much content flying at us constantly, it's really important and really essential that people be able to harness what their story is, yeah. right? And branded content, being able to like add a little zhuzh to your videos, YouTube content zhuzh. creators out there, especially who are working. You know, I remember the days like running and gunning, being like mm -hmm. wearing many hats as a you know one person production company. It's really fun to learn some new skills and give that, that yeah. professional look to your videos. And Maya? Tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, I'm just out here being shameless is all. Um, <laughs> started my YouTube channel uh, five years ago. I have a, you can check me out on YouTube. And my background is in photography as well as theater. I went to school for classical theater. And when I came into YouTube, I had no editing, like video editing skills. I knew Photoshop in and out but no video skills. So I was like, oh, I gotta teach myself. So started on iMovie, progressed up. Um, but now like I'm an expert beginner. Yeah, <laughs> I like to say. yeah, yeah. Or expert basic girl because people are like, wow, you're so creative. And I'm like, I know just enough to do what I need to do. And, and I actually, I think there is fun in having like these limited resources because mm -hmm. it forces me to be even more creative. It's like, I don't know how to do that, so how am I gonna play around? And I'm like, flip, rotate, Ref uh, like horizontal I mean, I flip. I like your willingness to like try anything yeah, and to, to get in there and figure out the solution for what you need. Because like in the end, like if it works, yeah. it so works. So I'm super basic and I like to um, give and share tools for my viewers on how to work with what you got. Because I'm a firm believer in you just need to take the first step and you have everything in your, you know, possession to create and tell a story. Absolutely, and and it's that like chasing curiosity is what I call it. And it Ooh. sounds like you keep saying you're basic, but I don't think that no, that's true. No. In five you years, like a, you're like a really show dope, dope <laughs> editor. <laughs> and and yeah, like it, shout out to Tech Talk. If you go to Shameless Maya's YouTube channels, her Tech Talks are really, really incredible, really good at breaking down, demystifying uh, technology in ways that, that are accessible. That normal and people can understand. I was in the comments yeah. of your Instagram video. I saw how many people were like, thank Thank you, Maya, <laughs> for talking to the people. Yes, and explaining this. I like I like being yeah. um, 
understood and understanding. So I'm I excited for you guys to break down the concepts of After Effects for all of us. Uh, yeah, so, t so t yesterday, uh, for those of you who didn't see us live, you can go check out what, what we, all the shenanigans we were up to yesterday, oh, which is YouTube, super fun. So. Uh, so Valentina and Maya got together and had a little like design consult and Valentina created three motion graphics templates uh, that are available on Adobe Stock for free, so you can go grab them. They're super gorgeous, minimal, style, geometric. Show uh, them too, Yeah, we, we should totally, that's a good idea. Uh, mm -hmm. So we kind of went through how you guys, uh, discu your discussion around it, how you landed on your design. Then we went through the complexities, which were very complex. Valentina was designing for a lot of customization and variability. Um, and it was definitely, uh, we, we cannonballed into the deep end in After Effects yesterday. I was just like, huh. You were hanging in there, though. You, <laughs> you do good. You do, you do real good. good. You do real good, girl. Uh, so today, we're going to take it back a little bit. We're going to take it back to the to the basics, yep. to the Duplo blocks, and uh, we're gonna design some lower thirds from scratch. Uh, so this will be a little bit, you know, for those of you who yesterday were like, I have no idea what you're talking about. We're gonna try to pace it down a little bit, talk about, uh, so a little design consult again, and then dive into just how do you even start a comp, and then how do we wanna start building those things out. And then we wanna shout out to the awesome people out on Behance this morning. Um, the chat is going so fast, but I did notice Axel out there saying that every time that she's uh, watched Valentina, oh, yeah. that she's come back to the importance of the idea and not and getting away yeah. from the distractions of the, like getting getting yeah, stuck getting in the weeds. Down in, in so it's super that. dope. And um, thanks Chris, who actually tweeted me yesterday, it was really nice. Chris Garcia, and he's in the chat. Hi, so Chris Garcia. I see you. Thank you so much. Where for are you writing to us from? Where where are all of you writing? Do to we us have from? a giveaway? Is are we doing? Oh, let's talk about that. Let's, let's, let's talk about the freebies. <laughs> Hello, I like treats. Bye. So let's get back to the <laughs> to the important stuff. Look at we got a cuddle pillow again. We love cuddling Yay. on this show. <laughs> and but this time is After Effects, baby. That's what we're talking about. So, oh, hey. 10 a.m. It's an After Effects pillow. I want it. How do you? How do we win this? How, yeah. Bad boy. You know, Stay I'm still chat. confused about how people are able <laughs> to win this. Just pop off in the comments. Just write. You need to be in the chat for sure. I don't know if it's random though. Yesterday we 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 went rogue and <laughs> I, I can't recall. It was based how, on activity, I believe. It was participation. It was. Yeah. Gus, Participate. is there a Gus will let us know. But if you're in the chat, we this could be yours. They're watching you. You could be relaxing on this beautiful, you know, all your After Effects motion design dreams could come true. While you sleep, while it you will sleep. seep into your mind and you'll wake up with all the inspiration totally. and technical know-how. And that <laughs> reminds me, we also have a challenge today. Uh, so we'll be giving away at the end of the show, one year subscription to Creative Cloud Suite, which that's, that's Okay, can dope. we say how only one person entered? So the yes. one person who showed up got a one year subscription for free. I mean, so this is one, what is this? Like hundreds of dollars, possibly even th 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 yeah. it's a thousand thousand dollars. dollars. Get you a free Creative Cloud Suite. It's Enter a lot of money. Yeah. And it's not like it's super not hard. Complicated. Look, Sleeping. it's not hard. Let me tell you what you have to do, okay? 90% is showing up, guys. Yes. Uh, you go to, uh, you know, your live chat, your, the, you know, where you're chatting, there's a little tab that says challenge. There's a link there to go download a motion graphics template from Adobe Stock, what, what? Uh, it's free. You download that template, we're gonna want you to customize it. Please don't just send us back the same template like it was on stock. Like, <laughs> put your magic on it. <laughs> and uh, there's also a video clip, and it's a, so we want you to, you know, do a little transition between, you know, chop up that, get creative, do what you wanna do. Chop up that video clip, put the transition in, give us a little sparkle, give us a little magic, and then upload it, submit it, and uh, we will, at the last 20 minutes, we want to review many submissions, so please, you know, show up. Yes. Put throw your hat in the game. Be Get brave. free stuff. Get a free Creative Cloud subscription yeah, for a whole do year. It, do it now. Uh, Hi, Siobhan. <laughs> yeah, who else we got out there? <laughs> oh, so yeah, I just want to show what we did yesterday. Yeah. So we showed the we showed we showed the stuff that I've already made. So I made this intro, <laughs> which pops in like that, but Ooh. you oh. can always change things. So. 
you can you can change the words. What shall we write? We'll write Adobe Live. Adobe Live. Adobe Live. Can we Audio. see that cool shot too? Yeah. So we can. This is from my oh, Paris so video. Good. Bam. Bam. Mm. Um, maybe change it to a square. Have a different animation style. I like the second animation style. I love that one. Oh, no, wait, hold on. No, that, like, that one where it is. goes. Yeah, the one, this one. Oh, that one, yeah. Right. Oh. yeah. right. Change the color. So this is just like something I made for everybody out there to be able to use. And Maya used it in her Tech Talk series. And you can change like, the background. And everything. You can change the background. So maybe I'm, I'm just going to make the background. Yeah, like I can't color. see those letters so well, but maybe we could throw a little yeah. something, okay. something on there. And then, listen, Mira. I got you. There it there. is. There. There it is. What? Right. So there's like a lot of options for this. And we <laughs> talked about how to build it, but um, it was a very complex situation. So today, situation. Situation. So today we're going to take it back to the basics and go from scratch, which I know Maya's really excited about. I'm excited, because I want to learn. Yeah, so today we're gonna do, we're back in After Effects, and we're gonna do a lower third, which is, how would you describe what a lower third is for the people who don't know? I, do you want to take this one? No, you, yeah, go ahead. So, go, go. <laughs> so you know, basically <laughs> when you are, uh, mostly in documentary, more, you don't see this a lot in narratives, but in places where you see someone is speaking or talking, you want to know who they are and why they're, like, why do I need to listen to this person? So it's really important to give your viewer a, a reason to, mm -hmm. to, 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 like, tune in. Like, what's this guy? Well, who is this person? Who is so this person? a lower third typically will come on and it'll say who they are, what they do, and it helps people like, oh, that's why this is relevant to this video that I'm watching. And lower thirds have gotten pretty pretty fancy. I think that they can work. I mean, there's some really killer documentaries. I was just watching a Take Your Pill, Take Your Pills on Netflix, really wild documentary about ADD and that hmm. whole industry. But they had really, they could be really simple and still have like nice motion that, that that's another way that kind of gives your your piece like a, a look and a vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they can get really wild. Like I can I think of like ESPN. Right. Of low, you know where they're like. Whoa, it's like the text whoa, that whoa. appears on the lower side of your screen, yeah. and it animates in, and it could be really fun, and it could be branded. Or it could be it could be super in your simple. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It could sometimes be anywhere. Sometimes it's up. So yeah. It's not. I mean, call yeah. it lower third, but sometimes yeah. it's up above because you know. But it's text, yeah. so you can see. In the YouTube beauty community, I worked many years in that, and people used it for like the names of like Products. this brush or this yeah. product brand. or something. Yeah. It's the intel brand. you're giving your, yeah. your folks and you could just like put a letter up, but often too the reason why you want to put a background is so that it stands apart from the, the footage, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so, and it's an opportunity. Yeah, so usually what, what I'll do for a lower third is it'll be two lines. The first line will be like slightly bigger for a name. And then the second line would be like the description line. So by the way, where are you guys from? I didn't see too many people Oh yeah. Talking about where they're from, where they're tuning in from. We're in San Francisco. It's 9 a.m. here right now. Yes. Where are you? What time is it? We would like to know. Anybody watching us at 3 in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Axel, you're so sweet. She says, thanks for the info, Dacia. Adobe you're Live welcome. says greetings from us. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> woo woo. Adobe I'm Live. Canada, San Francisco. Boston, Orlando, what up? India. India. Yeah. Wow. 9 p.m. It's in 9 India. p.m. Thanks for tuning in. Who knew? There's Ireland. What? Liverpool. Bahamas. Bahamas. Oh. Shabbat. Oh, go to the Bahamas. My, ba <laughs> my island girls. Be right there. James Strong. What up, James? That's that's my boo. We're on the same team. Hi, Detroit, James. Claire. France. We got France. Six, we got Detroit. Wow. Six, what up, six, Michigan? The UK. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Asia. Italy, hola, Moldova, Brazil. Brazil, Florida. Wow, people are representing from around the world. Oh, 10 p.m. <laughs> Get your times right, girl. Okay, so, so I want to talk about uh, in the initial consult that I had with Maya, we talked about okay, what kind of graphics? What, what do you want them to to feel like? What do you want them to look like? Again, going back to the idea of like, what's what's your style? And Maya mentioned these words to me, you know, she wants them clean, modern, she wants some energy, fun, vibrant, and simple. So I took that and I made the, the three that are currently on Adobe Stock, but today we're making that new lower third. 
So I'm just writing down some factors that we can change in that lower third that Maya can think about. Some stuff like I can make color an option. Um, I think we should stick with our, you know, three shape options okay. just because that's in all of the other three. I had three shape options. Um, opacity, so how um, how transparent it is. Um, animation. Oh, wow, I can't spell. Animation, so how it animates in. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we want to change? Obviously text. Yeah, I think uh, one of the things I heard Maya say, uh, and this is fun, in thinking about designing a motion graphics template is thinking about how you might want to use it in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. And so- yeah. I'm big on repurposing I things. like <laughs> the idea of like, uh, you know, I heard you mention having like a little bursting icon the bar comes out for your text, but then maybe you want to use this thing in a different place. So being able to control the opacity on your on the the actual text yeah, of the bar. Right. So if you want to get rid of those and not use those elements, you can use that other little animation in different so, parts yeah, of think, your. You know, I think it makes sense for everything to have an opacity slider. Absolutely. Because then, then what if you don't want anything and you just want the text, right? right or right. what if you just want the bar, or, you know, there's options. Yeah, and the cool thing about motion graphics templates, even if you're working, you know, maybe you're just working on your own, is that you can design it in a way so that once you're in Premiere, you can stay in Premiere and stay in your editing flow and you have some a, a little sandbox to play in. You mm -hmm. don't have to keep bouncing back to After Effects to re-export something, redo it, like, you know, whether it's like, I misspelled this name, damn it, like back in the day, you had to go back yeah. in and then render right. it out again. And it's just, yeah. and then so re-import. It's, it's a process and you know, might as well save some time for other things like crafting your story and, and you know, making your, investing in your creative stuff, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's let's get on to kind of what you want it to look like. Um, wow. Here's all I know. So <laughs> you mentioned that you want something like a burst. So something like, you know, it starts like as a, as a point and then it bursts like this outwards. Yeah. And then it keeps bursting until it disappears, yeah. right? I love bursts. Something like that. Sure. For like a like a fun element. Yeah, because I, I do use things that burst if I'm like I'm calling to like point to the upper right of mm -hmm. your screen to watch more videos or um yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. Um so that could be that could be one of the one animation yeah. options. I could, I also have, so I'm thinking about it from a, from the point of view of like the shapes. Okay, yeah. So like this burst shape is Works a circle. for a circle. Right? What does it look like for other? What does yeah. it look like? I mean, I could also do a burst. I don't know if it makes any sense. As a square. As a square. It doesn't look like a square. Well, I guess you'd have about, to have more lines. If you think about the square in there. Or, you know, we can just keep it, keep that as a circle um, and then Get, do other options. So maybe maybe the circle option is a burst. Or unless you did like, yeah, circle burst. Oh, my hand's covering. Oh, so each one is a circle? I, I wonder, I don't know. Just if, in case you wanted to stick with the whole like shape thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know. Well, I was thinking, what if, what if, what, what if, about that? Oh, sorry. I'll go, no, go for it, go for it. I'm like, what? let me jump in. What you gonna say, girl? Well, it's not a burst, I was thinking, I like that. Right. That thing where it's like chasing. Oh, yeah. Like it's so it can little, be a shape. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What if each animation is a different shape? Oh, true. So like if if the circle, the circle is, is a burst, a burst, and then the circle is a burst animation. Right. So that way it's not yeah. like three different animations and then three different shapes. It's each animation is has its, has own, its own shape. shape. Yeah. And then maybe the square can be that that like a line in that, that line. line. Like you could just like animate into a line. Yeah, so, so it's like I think what, what Dossi is talking about is, so imagine, you know, like an uh, an imaginary square that's not not there. You don't see it. You don't see it, but instead you see a line that's starting to develop and it goes around this way and it like right, yeah. starts filling in the whole way and then it chases itself. So the end of the line chases itself. So it's kind of just going Trend. around. Yes. Oh, you have, can you show her screen? No, no, or don't no, show mine, oh, don't show mine. No, 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 Oops. It's, this is we're gonna, not, we're, <laughs> we were experimenting. We're experimenting, we were I am not it. the designer here. No, 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 you were, Dossie was showing me some cool stuff that I didn't know before that's gonna make this really easy for us. And that's, that's a square. And yes. I just wanna call out, you know, so After Effects is a deep, deep tool. Mm -hmm. There's so much that you can do with it. There are also like 87 million ways to do things. Yes. Uh, we're all self-taught learners up here. 
we've I've been in the app about seven years. You've been in about eight, nine years, right? Yeah, about eight years, but like on and off. On and off. Yeah. And and you were like, what's a trim pass? You know, so this, and that's how I felt when someone taught me about trim pass. I was yeah. like, what do you mean I've been doing well, this thing? Well, because this, if, if you're an After Effects person, like you can do this as a trim path, you can do this in masking, you can do it as um, like a stroke effect. There's this, so exactly. much you can do. So the cool thing about AE that I, my favorite part about it is the community of people who are constantly really skill sharing and te teaching each other tips and tricks and that's what we're up here to do right that's how you're gonna learn that's how you're gonna it's like play experiment figure out the way that works best for you yeah. and we're gonna hopefully share some some cool tips with y'all today I have an idea for the triangle mm -hmm. so Ooh, what if what, what's the triangle? triangle is like it's just growing so it starts really small yes oh, and yeah. as so it grows like, bah, 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 bah. as it grows it like um, the opacity out or well, like, so, so, <laughs> so it keeps, it keeps growing, it keeps growing, but as it grows, uh, it gets like duller. Okay. So like, oh, it, yeah, it grows yeah. out and it, like it disappears. Vibration. Like it vibrates, but like, dis like a ripple in water. Yes, exactly. Ooh. What if it's like a ripple? Like, oh a, like a growing What ripple. if it's a wrinkle in time? Sorry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Shout out yes. to Ava DuVernay. <laughs> okay. So we're yes. going to do that. We're going to do, so we're going to do triangle. And then that's gonna be a ripple. This is my favorite part of like making decisions. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Well, what's what's fun for me is that this is gonna be easier for me because instead of having two different sliders, one right. for shapes right. and one for animation, yeah. I can just have less bugs. One, and you know, then you can choose yeah. which one you want. I love that. So okay, so w we thought about you know this little. I, I'm gonna call this like the accent. Ah. So this is like. Is this a, an official? Graphic design term is like this is how we can, or just <laughs> well, this is what I, mean, it, it I like it. Sense. It makes sense, right? Because this isn't the main, it's not box. the main show, it's not the text or the main box, it's like an accent. It's kind of giving it the little, it's like, like which hey. state are you from? I can tell. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little, it's a little something. But let's, let's think about, let's think about Texas. <laughs> Anybody from Texas out there? What? what? <laughs> Let's think about like what we want the actual thing to look like. So we have the accent, whatever it is. Let's oh, right. let's okay, say it's so a triangle. The way it's it's here. And or then. like, you know. So with so with then. all of these, I feel like with all of these, eventually, like, you know, if it's a burst, mm -hmm. it'll burst and then it disappears. It disappears, yeah. With the triangle, it grows and then it disappears. Right. So and then. with the snake, maybe it goes around a couple times uh -huh. and then it disappears. Oh, a couple times. That's exciting. Or, you know, however many times <laughs> however you want. However many times you but want for forever. But after it disappears, then you have nothing, right? Right. So, so we need to have like yeah. a... So we need to figure out how are we, how are, how are we getting... Does the, the lower third visible. box, like the rectangle, do you want it to like grow from or there? Or is it a rectangle? Oh. Or is Does there a box have at to all? Be? Right? So, mm. you know, if we, or, you know, think for, outside yeah, the box. Yeah, does it slide over? So what? if we have upper, upper text, text, and then we have lower text here, right? Uh -huh. Is there a giant box around it? Or is there um, a little line between them? Yeah. So is there like a line like this? Or is are they each a box? I saw that. That that's how it was in that. Uh, you know, like you. In that. You talk. don't like this one. Take your pills. <laughs> All right. Doc, no. I saw. No, not that one. Not that. No. Um, well, don't you want sometimes to maybe have a little bitty box as I, an option I like just one in box. case there's a. Maya likes this. I like a one box situation. Maya likes that Because you can still box. make it like low opacity, right? It doesn't need to be like. There's a box. Well, there's so, but even if it's low opacity, like there's still. It, if they're different sizes, like if if the lower text, if, if it's a really, really long, you know, um, line, then mm -hmm. you have, when it's two boxes, you have something that looks like this, which Maya might not like. You so, know, yeah. even if it's the same color and the same opacity, it's still like, it's not gonna look so this kind of shape. So one box is probably yeah. the best. Box. And the cool thing about this though, is that this allows us to get into, which we didn't get to yesterday, source rect at time. Uh-huh, yep. Which, basically means that it's a very complex, I, I never get this, this expression right, but it means that w you want to design it so that the box always resizes to the size of the shape, right. or the text. So if you have a person with a very long name, you know, you want that 
it, yeah. it makes a lot, it's a lot easier if that box resizes automatically in relationship to it rather than you having to manually do but it. But for us, it's gonna be even more complicated because we have two lines. Yep. So the source rec that time is gonna be like, if the second line is longer than the first line, make the box that length. That length. If the first line is longer than the second line, make the box that length. And it's gonna be a little bit more complicated because they're gonna be different sizes. So we're gonna have Ooh. to put in some padding Main on both of them. So so even though we're gonna be doing some basic 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 things today, we also, you know, we might swim out to we the might. to the nine foot side of the pool. You know? Yeah. yeah. We might the, go like, dive honestly, in a little bit. Yeah. So how does the box animate in the in? How, that's a good that's question. That's a really good that's question. That's a really good question. What do you want? I what do you like? I don't know. because I'm like, this is a, a motion graphic template. Mm -hmm. It's not like a well. Here's something cool. So it doesn't act, it doesn't necessarily have to animate from the left, right? Because whatever this shape oh. is is going to disappear. So if the shape, if if it starts like if the circle bursts, right, mm -hmm. and then it disappears, it can grow from the middle or yeah, somehow. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know, middle. Or what if we use that element that I made in the other one in the intro, the little line that cuts across like this? Oh, oh. I love that. So the shape, oh, the shape comes appears. out of the shape appears and then it's disappears. Like, it disappears. The line no. appears. <laughs> And then yes. the box comes out of the line. I'm, I'm I happy with that. Love yeah, that. that looks great. And then we can repurpose the line from yeah. the other side, or I can create it from scratch. Axel, I just want to uh, source rect at time stands is an expression that stands for source rectangle at time. And so what it means is that you you want the size of your rectangle to be sourced from the size of a different rectangle at a particular given moment. It's anyways. We're, we'll hopefully break it down a little bit more easily. We'll, we'll try our best. We're gonna try our best. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is how it's gonna go, right? Um, if I may, this is our idea. Okay. We're gonna have three different options for the lower third. The first option, and I'm gonna do like this is like a timeline situation. So the first one is a circle. So you start with a little burst. How many little bursties are we gonna do? I Let's like odd, do... no, odd, odd numbers. Oh, oh yeah. fun, great, odd, odd numbers. Let's is that just... worse? Yes, that's seven. It it's harder. Really? Why? Because the, well, in the way that I was thinking of doing it, it's harder, but it's fine. No, 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 it's she's fine. Do a, you're the designer. No, oh, let's designers, do seven. Well, let's do seven. <laughs> what do you want, Maya? I don't care. <laughs> Maya doesn't care. Let's I just want bursts. Let's do six. <laughs> let's let's do eight. Okay, eight little bursties. That one has seven. That makes more sense to me. Oh, anyway. Catherine says, where has this been all my life? That's what I was thinking yesterday. I don't ever want to stop doing <laughs> I'll show Adobe you. Live with Valentina and Maya. I'll but show you why I want to do eight, but then like if I wanted to do seven, it just takes some some math, but you know, I'm, Add I'm one not more about line that there. math right now. Seven so there. anyway, it's so it's st it starts as a little burst, and then you see the little line growing like this from the middle. Can we From the burst. From the burst, yeah. Well, the burst, like, so it's it's like here. You, you see it starting. You okay. see the line starting here, and then it grows this way. And we'll show y'all what burst we're talking about. Can we do that real quick, actually, just in case? Oh yes, let's show them the burst. Show that cute little. Oh god. She's like, you're getting me out of my. <laughs> my flow. laptop I'm... is so old. Oh here, I, I think it just. I I think people get it. It's just like a burst. Little... Little lines coming from the middle. No, no, the one, but that that, that slice line. one. Oh, the show slice. Yeah, the slice oh, the that you already made. I'm just, right. I just wanted to show people like what, yes. what you're talking about. This is with, what I'm talking. And about. the cool thing about that is that it integrates it to the design to the, of yeah. your other ones. So it's right. like on consistency. brand. We want it to be the same. Yeah, consistent. You know, try to find ways. Uh, Valentina was showing me this amazing video that she cut of her trip to Paris recently. It's so beautiful. So, Please go, so you see this, go watch You it. see this line happening in the middle here where it goes diagonally and it kind of disappears? That's what we're talking about. And then it kind of, ooh, I love this that little. This is what I didn't see. I didn't realize there was multiple animation styles yes. from the, you know, I think I kept the wrong um, one that you sent, the wrong version. Because oh. when I went to look at it last night, I'm like, well, I didn't, it was the wrong. Oh, okay. It wasn't well. the most recent one, anyways. If you all want the most recent one, you should go to uh, Adobe Stock because I believe they have it. Um, so let's just go into. Don't worry if this is too complicated right now. I'm just trying. Don't worry about it. 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 I'm we'll just trying to isolate like, this line. Yeah. So just to show you the line. Okay, here. Oh, it is. there. That's there it is. Oh, okay, well, I love me. <laughs> yeah, it's so clean. I love that. I love it so, so much. So I'm. I mean, I don't. I'll recreate it, but I don't even have to because I can just take. But it that's from here. basically you have to what we're doing so we can here. Learn yeah. how to do it, Miha. I'll. Okay, girl. <laughs> I'll do it, but like, 
namely that's, me, because I want to put that line on okay, everything. Okay, so now. I know, so right? <laughs> if we go back to my paper here, so we we have the burst, then we have the line going, Out. same same line, same times, and then how do we get from the line to the box? To the box. Is, is it, it? Is it like when it? Maybe? What about when it when it pops open? Like Can when it, it kind of separates, yeah. it then here? it is born. Does it come out of this line? Like, does it go like, you know? Like, from the, when they go like, w maybe when they pass each other, it starts to grow, and then whoosh, when they're already gone, it's like, boom. Uh, I don't know what you're, can you explain this to me? I can don't you draw know. this? Can you draw can, it? Does it come out from here? Does it do that thing? Does it grow? Because, yeah. let's see. Look, let's I'm see. gonna show you, so the way I did it on my computer, as you well, can yeah, see, maybe if, you look at, if you look at this, right? So they sort of came. So from came there, from where? from where they're together, yeah. then it would start popping out, and yeah. then the lines just, you know, just like in this, this side, way, this it side. grew together. In the oh, in I this see way, it would uh -huh. grow to uh -huh. the right. right. Yeah, like okay. kind of so went there. That's what I mean. Okay, so yeah. like it that's starts. What we, that's what it we starts mean. Here. That's what I drew. Right? So it starts really. Ideas it starts aren't valued <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's coming. I know. I see what you're. I just needed some time to like understand. It's early, right? So they're early. not they're not offset. Ah. They're not offset like these. Right. Yeah. Exactly. No. They're like they're they're together. together. They're just yes. popping out. Yes. Okay, cool. cool Let's cool. do that. So then um the final third. Okay, so if this was up or oh. lower up or so it and then it it appears. You see how much is involved? Upper lower like that, right? Pre-production. Okay, cool. And so, so that's one of them. And then the the other one, what do we do? Oh yeah. So for the box, you know, we have we have the little thing that's going like this, this little thing. It maybe goes around twice. <laughs> I love that because I love that. If we do it too much, then it's like it takes too long. Too right? distracting. It's too distracting. Mm -hmm. So it goes around twice, and then from the center again, we have that same line come in. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh okay. So oh, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. part is the same. Okay. Because then you're kind of also then we don't have to redo ah. that animation over and over. You yeah. get to repurpose that. Yeah. Time. Exactly. You kind of build some efficiency. And then this is the triangle that grows and starts um, every, as it goes out to the as it grows it becomes more transparent. So maybe like three of them, three triangles that like grow and start become transparent, and then again the line with the box. Boom. And then the box again. So then you you're, I you've got these all three these. really unique styles. Yes. But really, you get to kind of re repurpose this. So not only are you adding consistency, yeah. which makes your videos look great, and it, there's subtle things, <laughs> but people notice them subconsciously. You notice yeah. it feels more together. Yeah. And then you really only you're only like customizing those kind of intros. Yeah, and I love it. The, um, I think what we'll do is we'll have it be like. This will be its own opacity, and then this will be its own opacity. So if you want to just use this as a little, I'm so excited as a little thing, then you could. Oh, that's so great! Or if you don't want any bursts and you just want it to start with the line, oh, then you, you can disable can the burst. There. You can disable the burst, or you can disable the. Who wants to disable the burst? This is how we do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna call this the Hi, accent. Jason. I'm gonna call these the accents, right? This is the accent. And then I'm gonna call this the the box line. Uh -huh. So each of these will be, you know. And I love what you're doing thing. here. As this as is, a, yeah. I love the visualization that you're creating. Yeah. Do you do this every time you go into yes. an animation? Yes, I do this every time, and ideally I do it with a client sitting right next to me because it's so much harder to do it. You right. Know, over the Emails. Or right. Absolutely. Like right now, we were like. I'm trying to so do it like this, and, and sometimes you just really need a visual yeah. to yeah. talk about visual things. Yeah, it can get, it can get hard. And it also saves so much time because then you're on the same page, and then when you show the client, and they're like, "This isn't at all what I wanted. Right. I actually wanted this." And you're, you're yeah. yeah. So taking yeah. the time for pre-pro is an important lesson, an important takeaway. I would say I always I think it's really important. Just yeah. get a game plan together, get a little roadmap for yourself, yes. yeah. and it kind of helps uh, not feel so overwhelmed when you get into that. And it cuts down on time because you're spending less time on your computer trying to fiddle, and you're like, wait a minute, I don't like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. So now, okay, um, we the way that I start this is I'll start with the least fun first. And then ah. I go to the most fun, and usually the most fun is like the which bigger is, picture, which, which is, is the least this. Fun. Which is your least? The least fun is getting like the text, right? The text oh, to work. That was where that we have to start. Oh. Well, we have to, we right? Have to. We have to start right. with the basics, with the fundamentals, before we have to walk before we can. This run. is why you're a professional. 
No. I just want to do fun things all the time. Oh, Roland yeah. is asking, ever had a sit in client ask that you animate text in from the center using a text animator? In from the center. Center. I mean, I think, oh. are you talking about like is character that what, by is character? That what you're character doing by right character, here? or? I think that's what he's yeah, talking maybe. about. Yeah, maybe. Is this text animating actually from the center? That well, good... it's not, it's like, the whole thing is animating from the center. It's not just the text. Right. So the text so, and, I, and just for those out there who are not so familiar with After Effects, text animators are in the app. Uh, if you add a text layer, let's, can we just show yeah, that real sure. quick? Let's, well, let's just let's, let's just, just get started, it, and then we'll get back to we'll, that. Yeah, let's we'll get, get it. You're right. It. Let's stay on. Let's stay on track. Because we'll, 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 we can show that. So if you're just joining us now, we are here with Valentina V and Shameless Maya. No I don't one know why I say yes. Shameless Maya all the time. Her uh, character <laughs> animation. I'm Dasa Sainz, and we are basically going to create a lower third uh, motion graphics template from scratch. For those of you who are not as familiar or comfortable with After Effects, we're hoping that this will be kind of like a like you know, toe dipping, toe dipping, and demystifying <laughs> a little bit, and 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 sh showing a few tips and tricks. Uh, this is not as scary as you think. And then we're gonna make this awesome little motion graphics template that we can kick over to Premiere, where a lot of you might feel more comfortable. And then you can just download then, it if you want. Yeah, are we eventually. Make this one available on stock. Yeah, we're why make not? This yeah. So sure. you don't have to do any design or coding. You just download it and install. Yeah, it'll cool. be it'll be on stock. So yeah. we'll build this out, and then the other thing is that Valentine, you know, the thing that I find that separates kind of really cool animations versus not is the the motion design. It and there is. are some, you know, you can make a, a something appear, you know, make it move from here to here, and it looks really clunky, or, or you can make it look super smooth. And so Valentine is going to teach you some tricks on how to make your motion look awesome and. Uh, and Dossie is going to teach you some tricks too. Please. I mean, between us, between us, we have enough tricks. We got I'll just be fangirling over here. <laughs> all right, I'll so be your hype just, girl. Let's just yeah, get I'm into it because it's nine thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get, get into in. it. Yeah, right. Time, so new composition. You can go to you can click the fun new composition, part. or you can go to composition, new composition, and I'm going to make it twelve seconds. It's like a good amount of time. And you want to give people a little bit. I want to give them the a, option. A little bit of option to, to trim, to trim it if they need, or to you know. However, I'm not going to put an end on this on this lower third, so that way you can end it however you want it. You know, you can, you can fade you can it, cut out. it out. You can fade it out. You can make a, a whip pan. You can make a slide. Whatever, Ooh, in Premiere. A whip you pan can put it in Premiere. So one, yeah, once you're in Premiere, your motion graphics template is just like another clip. Uh, it's a clip that you can manipulate yep. from the central graphics panel, but at that point you can, you know, trim it down, do it as yeah. whip pan. And if you were is, if like you it. were here yesterday, um, you saw that I sort of work on like a macro level and a micro level. I look at my main composition, and I put all of my expression controls in a main composition. Um, so I'm going to make that just make that composition first, so that I can always refer back to it. So the way that I've called everything Tech Talk is Maya series. So I've called, if you can see on the left, all my other compositions are tech talk underscore background, tech talk underscore can intro. Can we zoom in a little bit on that? Yeah. Just for the, for the people out there. Oh. oh. Ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. So are you saying that it's important to have like set up a naming convention? Well, yes. Hence, I was already setting them up here. I was already <laughs> setting them up on the paper. You know, I'm calling this my accent. Mm -hmm. I'm calling this my box line. So I'm already trying to set up naming conventions. Saying organize ahead of time. Yes. Is really important. It's so important. Yeah. So this one, it's going to be tech talk underscore lower third. Um, I love that you use underscores. I hate spaces. I do too. That's like a faux pas in coding. I, I like underscores. Or I think in, it's, in um, yeah, some file, some like, programs. like OS systems used to not deal with the spaces as much, but I think that, yeah, I love the I mean, underscore. I'm, so anyways. I'm doing it for an HD, so for 1920 by 1080 pixels, um, duration 12, square pixels, frame rate 23.976, which is pretty standard for everyone, um, at least if you're in North America. If you're in Europe and using PAL, 25 frames per second, it'll still work. Don't worry about it. I'm going to click OK. So it gives me, if you're familiar with editing programs, this is a timeline down here. So I have that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, another composition, new composition. And this one I'm going to do for the reference text. Yes, and we talked. We went real deep yesterday. into what reference yeah. text meant yesterday. Just in the for the sake of time, I'm going to say um, 
we're not going to deep dive as far into that conversation, mm -hmm. but feel free to go back and check out our video from yesterday. Yes. And we, we get real into it. You get real into, into it. They real, went into real the matrix, into those but, relationships. But you have to do it where at least I feel that I have to do it just to set everything up. So you can see uh, the compositions here are on little tabs. So I'm going to go back into Tech Talk lower third tab and I'm going to drag the lower thirds reference text in there. So yeah, so this is, in, in After Effects you have compositions which are like your sequences. The difference is, is that you can like Russian doll mm -hmm. your compositions. In, you know, one composition can become a layer in another composition. Yeah, or you can think about it like, um, like a filing cabinet. So you have like hmm. a manila folder that has your, like the reference text is a piece of paper, right? You put it in a manila folder. You put that manila folder in a drawer. That drawer is in a filing cabinet. That filing cabinet is, is in an office. office. That office, office is, is in, in a building. building. Building is on Earth. Right? Earth so is in the solar system. One into the other, <sighs> right? That's Crazy. I mean, so, so hold on. Where did you pull this lower third from? Reference. So I just made a new composition. Oh, you it's made here. A new one. Okay. It's it's completely empty. It's in There's the, nothing in the, there. The project panel is kind of like your project panel Premiere, where you have all your clips, all your your assets, things that you're you're going to be using and pulling I onto your timeline. You oh, okay. I, I, I well, it, it was the same. Okay. It was the same thing. I just did. I just called them different things. So both of them are the same. Are comps. One is in a folder. Girls do a lot of talking. Yes. Yeah. We do. Communication is key. We're it's humans. Important. It's, important. it's important. I mean, we can't be up here silent. <laughs> here for we an go. Hour and a half. <laughs> Tangents. <laughs> and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another composition. New composition. There we go. So this is exactly what I did. Okay. Right? So I have the reference text, but then I need the actual text. So I'm gonna call this uh, lower thirds text, and it. It populated in there. I'm gonna go back to Tech Talk Lower Third and I'm gonna drag it into it. So right now in my Tech Talk Lower Third, I have the Lower Thirds text and the Lower Thirds reference text. And this is because you have one, you're gonna pull in, since you have three different styles that we're gonna be designing, mm -hmm. you're gonna pull in the source text once that's going to feed, you know, every time you switch compositions, if you want to, yeah. it basically is going to pull from there anyways. Actually, Again, we talked about it yesterday. I might, I might not put it in the main composition because I don't need it in the main composition. It's going to be, it's, it, within it's a little the bit deeper in the filing cabinet of But of what, what goes the, into the actual control of the motion graphics template in the essential graphics panel is only, <laughs> you know, the upper, the one line, the top line and the bottom line. You yes. don't need six lines right. for every so one of these. I'm going to open up the the reference text and what were the words that we used yesterday uh, that had both oh, an hydro, and gender? Type, oh. hype and type. Yes. Hype and type. Type. And Valentina was like, so the reason why this is because the the text box is uh, sizes dynamically according to the size of your text, and so it's important to plan for how tall it might get and how low it might get. Mm -hmm. So you have some letters that are taller and then you got your little letters with the tail like Y, P, right. Q, all those guys. So my my top line is gonna say type and my bottom line is gonna say hype. And the reason that, so I'm making this reference text composition just so that I can point to it later and be like, this is always going to be the text of my first line. This is always going to be the text of my second line. So now that I go to lower third text, this is where I'm actually going to make it look nice. So I'm going to go to uh, layer new text um, first. So already I kind of, I see things that I don't like. First of all, the like, it's the letters are too far apart from each other. Obviously, mm. can you have They're that as a sixty-seven here? Hmm. What what were you saying? As an adjustment slider on a Mogart? Yeah, like, this is a, this is something that we. Um, I, I mean, you could add as an animator, but the character panel does it's not reference of, to the timeline. Right. Okay. So at as the you moment, can see, yeah. As you can see, uh, what what she's but talking there are about workarounds to this. Right here, when you when you look at the text and you drop down into the options here. These are your options for the text. So you can change like the size of it, the position of it, the mm. rotation of it. And if, um, you, if you go to animate, you get even more more options. So this would be where you could do tracking and line spacing, things like that that are in your character panel. You could add those properties to your text line 
to control them a little bit better, but it's not a direct correlation to the character panel at the moment. Yeah. We, we've got some redesigning to do for sure. So I think what, what I'm gonna do is that I might be, I might like to use two different like sizes of, or not sizes, but yeah, two different sizes of font for the top line and bottom line, but okay. also maybe the top one is bold and the bottom one isn't. Right, okay. Um, and what do you think about how should they be justified? Sh oh. Should they be like, mm. ooh, like Janet? <laughs> <laughs> should they be, should it, uh, like, so should it be like mm. upper, lower? Or should it be upper, lower? It's weird because people might position them on different parts of the screen, right? Like they might put them on uh -huh. the left side or mm -hmm. they might move it to the right side. So would it make sense to send Well, for the sake of, Time. Time. Okay. So I'm starting just... to worry about. Okay. I want us to get through this. Okay. So can we just do like just design from the left? Left. Mm -hmm. and okay. And then, and then you know. Yeah. We could. Yeah. So we're just gonna do left justified, which is fine, which is fine. So I'm gonna go to the character, or to the paragraph, here, just like in Photoshop, if you're familiar, or Word, or any uh -huh. <laughs> program. Any, yeah. Anything. Any program. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna, you know. And I'm what that does is it moves that anchor point from the center. Yes, you can see, what, so what's an anchor point? You can see this little, this little circle here. Mm -hmm. And that's the point from which everything is going to grow or rotate, rotate or move. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, it's not exactly in the corner right now. So I can always move it. Yeah, and the reason that is is because text, text anchor points, unlike uh, other, boxes, mm -hmm. I learned this recently, text anchor points are determined by the bottom of the font. So if you were to change this font to something else, that anchor point is going to go to the bottom of the letter. Mm -hmm. Not the Y or the P or the Q, but the like baseline of the letter. Got it. So it's never quite in a corner and it's never quite in the, it just kind of gets to the bottom. Same if you put it in the center, it's going to be in the center of your box vertically, wait, horizontally, but vertically it, it ends up just like right at the bottom of the like E or K or whatever. I mean, I'm here with you guys, India. Okay, so for that reason, <laughs> for that reason, I'm going to just make sure that there's ascenders and descenders. Um, Great, to plan for to it. To plan for it, and okay. I'm gonna move that anchor point to the, like, to the most bottom that it could be. Yeah, because possibly. otherwise, so the reason is we're planning for it, it, we want to make that dynamic. We want to make it so that the box grows dynamically according to the text. And if you were to leave the anchor point at the bottom of the baseline, then anytime J's or P's mm -hmm. or Q's happen, that box would not get dr I, They'd be hanging out of the box. I also want that wouldn't be cute. it to be able to, the text to be able to scale within the box if you need it to. So maybe if you want a box like this, right? And it says upper really big, and lower really small, I want you to have that option. Or maybe you don't want to have it scale that much. You want it to say upper, and you want the lower to be almost the exact same size. So in order to have that option, that anchor point of the top line has to be at the very bottom. Uh -huh. right? So that it scales properly together mm -hmm. in relationship. Yep. It's all relationships, guys. It's yes. all about. I love it. Let's see They're the rest so of this. So I, I kind of want to know um, what you guys, like what is your experience with After Effects? like Or Adobe. Or Adobe. So I feel like most of these people watching are beginners. Like, me. Are you coming from f the Photoshop world? Yeah. yeah this are you coming from? Illustrator world, InDesign. I know I have a lot Mind of- Mind you, you will win a prize at the end of this for participation. Yeah, and we are 12 minutes away from giving away Oh, so cute. And enter the challenge to get uh, your subscription to Creative Cloud. Which Chris Garcia money, and money. Axel and a couple people are like, it's six ninety nine a year, guys. I know, it's I saw that. Thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. <laughs> thousands of dollars, <laughs> y'all. Hey, money's money. Uh, okay, so you know, let's go back to this. Getting back. Anyway, okay, so I, um, I'm i enjoying this. Anchor points. This text. This text looks good to me. Um, I'm going to maybe drop in a little guide for myself so I know where that left boundary Ooh, is. Ooh, how did you do that? It's real easy, so easy. Dacia. You just <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. How did you do that? Really Here we go easy. on tangents again. <laughs> it's really We're not going to make it through this. <laughs> you, just, you just go to the ruler on the side, <coughs> and it turns into uh, this little, as, as soon as you reach the ruler, it turns into these little um, arrows, 
and you just you just drag that guide Boom. over somewhere. Shablam! There we yeah. go. So easy, right? y'all. So now that I've I've done the top uh, line, and I just typed in some letters that have both ascenders and descenders. This doesn't mean anything. Um, I'm just gonna copy, paste. So now I have a second layer. I just said Control Copy, Control Paste, Control V. And you notice that you have an extra layer down in your in your timeline. Yes. Now I have a second one. It's the exact same one same as my thing. first so one. So pull it down. Mm -hmm. So I can pull it. Oh. So I can pull it down. She knows something, guys. Yes. Yes. And I'm holding Shift. If I hold Shift, it pulls it down directly right. down. It stays shift vertically button. locked. Yes, it stays vertically locked. And now I want to maybe do some changes to it. I want to make it maybe not bold. I want to change it to, oh, maybe regular. Ah, uh, because uh, you know, often in lower thirds, you'll have you'll want to like make the name pop, yeah. and then their title you want it to be like a, li a little bit, like, a little bit different, more of a um, what do you call that? Bridesmaid, you know, a bridesmaid, little yeah. backup singer, if you will. Um, I'll change this so that the first letter is really tall, so I'll do like K. So that you, you this is because so, you're right. planning for that spacing right. between those two lines. And now being I see, and now good. I see that the J and K is like real close together. So I'm gonna move it, you know, down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, or I can just move it down with it. Yeah, you can use the air if you just want to do like little tiny movements. You can use your your arrow tool, mm -hmm. just like in most of Adobe apps. I want to make it maybe a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna make it smaller. A hundred's good, I think. A hundred, yeah. Um, and then I want to change the anchor point because the anchor point is is now like way yeah. over here, and I want to change it to the top. So I'm gonna open up the text properties, oh, the transform properties here. I'm gonna move the anchor point to the top, and then I'm gonna move the whole thing. So notice up. you can move the anchor point, and that sh that again changes the direction from which things move right. or grow. So, so or now that the anchor point is at the top, which is so important, if this I want to use the scale slider, now it it's gonna scale from, from there. that guy. And if it had been at the bottom, it would it scale, scale that from, way yeah. up. If it was right. in the center, it would scale like from yeah. the center. And for me, it's important because if I'm giving the editor the option to scale the text, and they're scaling both texts at it, the same time or something, like if I... Yeah, show us what would happen if you had not adjusted the anchor point. So so right now, they would scale like this, right? So that makes Love a lot it. of that sense. That looks good. Right? But if I had not adjusted the anchor point, if the anchor point was, was back at the bottom, and it was here, and I was trying to scale both of them at the same time, that's what would happen. They run yeah. into each other. Yeah. Ew. Not fun. And this is... <laughs> This is the kind of stuff that you learn from a lot trial of trial and error. Mm -hmm. From a lot of like the client going back to me like, uh this you messed up. Uh what? <laughs> is that how you sound when you're talking to your graphic? Yeah. Designer? I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We're on text and we still have to get to boxes. Yeah, and listen. <laughs> it's it's a whole thing. So um, another thing that I found with text is because you want to be able to change the color of your text. That's something that you mm -hmm. want to do, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, is that yeah. You know, yeah, it is. Here we so go. So these are the animators again. There's it's that tiny little little arrow there, but it gives you a lot of options that you can add. These extra properties mm -hmm. that you can add that, like I said, the character panel doesn't map to the mm -hmm. timeline window, but these give you the, those controls. So I'm going to introduce the, that fill <laughs> color control to both of them. Um, fill color RGB. Here we go. So it creates like a little box here. So I can click in the box. I can change the color. And then it changes. And you would add that. We'll get there. But we'll get there. Just you know, sneak preview. We're gonna add those color options to the central graphics panel, mm -hmm. and so then Maya will have the option to change that text color whenever she wants, depending on whatever video you're showing. So here's the fun thing. So now, I, right now, I just have a bunch of random text in here, right? But I want it to be my reference text, which is type and hype. So I'm going to pancake, just like we did yesterday. A little bit of a refresh, right? Oh gosh, where did it go? Where'd it go? Oh no. Oh no. Can you oh. let's just pop it open again? Um I don't know where it went. Does it? Oh I there it is. Oh there it is. Okay. <laughs> oh there, there it is. is. There we go. Pancake. I'm gonna make this fit. So instead of this, uh, I wanted to say type and hype and I wanted to take whatever text is in the reference text comp. So instead of this top one, 
which is... That says, Jacques Lucien. Yeah. <laughs> just want the text. Which is this Source one. Text. Source text. I'm gonna press Alt. You guys can see that? Okay, here so it is. it's a little stopwatch. A little stopwatch. I'm gonna press Alt and click on the stopwatch. It pops open this little panel with this pick whip. Take this pick whip. I like the way it sounds, pick whip. Yes. To the pick source text of type <laughs> and release. And what does that do? Oh, oh, caps. There we go. There we go. If I go back to the uh, lower thirds text, it has now changed to type. To type. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. So now instead of that, I'm gonna click, alt click. I'm gonna pick whip it to the second line. And then if I go look at it now. So now that reference text is guiding mm -hmm. the text boxes that we've already, you know, we did all of the anchor point, we, we, we designed it so that it can do all the things it needs to do. And you don't have to repeat that three times for the three different ver variations yeah. that we're going to be so making. So now I don't, I don't need this reference text thing. Uh, I'm just gonna hide it. I don't need to work on it anymore for now. Mm -hmm. Get last. It's fine. It's cool. I don't want so, to see you no more. So um, I'm looking at this. So now we have the lower thirds text. That's done, y'all. High fives, everybody. We made it through, Woo! guys. We finished, we we finished the text. most. Are y'all feeling okay out there? Part. Are we? Yeah. And so I like this. This if you go get through the boring stuff, you get to have then fun. you get to have fun. You get to have some fun. I like this. It's like doing your chores. Yeah. Knock it out. Yeah. I did like my laundry, mommy. So Work now hard, hard. I'm going I'm to do another composition because now we're going to get into. Finally. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now we're going to get into um, this one, right? Right here, this stuff. Okay. Right there. Right. We're so, kind of like working our way back yes. to the accent. Yes. So I'm going to do new composition and it's going to say, <laughs> you know, lower thirds box. Bam. Makes sense to me. Makes a lot of sense. So it's empty because we just made it and there's nothing in there. But you know what? We can drop in there. The lower, lower thirds, thirds text. text. Oh, Damn. snap. Your file and the folder and the folder and the drawer and the fold. All of it. You know where in the this building. is going. <laughs> um, okay, cool. <laughs> now uh, we're going to draw that box. Draw that box. So there's a lot of ways you could do it. This uh, is exciting. This is where I've tuned in now. You, <laughs> wait, yeah, shape layer, or you can just go here. Or go there. Or you can just go here to the box, rectangle. The important box. thing on this though is, and this is this confused the cuss out of me for a while, is that you gotta make sure you don't have a layer selected yes. if you use the shape tool. Because if you no. have a layer selected, don't. Oh. it's gonna make a mask. Mm -hmm. And that's, oh. you're like, what? what? This is not this what is I news. want. Oh, no, okay. I'll, sh I'll show you what happens. So if I have the layer selected, right, and I go over to the rectangle tool, and, and I make like, a mask, I it will just mask that layer. Which is like great mask. if you're trying to make a mask, but not great if you're trying to make a box. A new thing. Right, no. A so, new thing happens. So, so make sure the I'm layer isn't gonna do that. Don't do that. So just, yeah. So the layer isn't selected. I go up here, and as soon as I click on it, it's giving me options. It's giving me a fill mm -hmm. and a stroke option, and I wanna make the stroke for now. I'll make it like four pixels so I can see it. Mm. And then I'm gonna draw it out. Here it is. Bam. Boom. It's a box. But wait. But the text Balance is gone. gone. Why can't I see my text? Oh, okay. Well, if you think about this in like Photoshop or Illustrator terms, the these layer. are all layers, right? And my box right now is on top of my text layer. So if I just take it, drag it under. Shablam. Boom. Head out. Boom. In boom. your face. Boom. It's, there it boom, is. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> layers. Layers, layers. There layers. it is. Like an onion. <laughs> so I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to do a lot of things with the, this box. I'm going to make it so that, oop. What? How do you, okay. You wanna lock it? No, I, I wanna do that, but I don't know what it's called. What's, rasterize? What's like, yes. Rasterize. Do you wanna talk yeah, about that? Yeah, for sure. You, uh, so basically, like if you bring a vector, so shapes are vectors, meaning that you can expand them as big as you wanna make them and they won't ever degrade. They won't, like, they won't pixelate. Uh, so Illustrator is a, you know, this is great. The reason why design graphic designers work in that is because you can make a design that you can print on a piece of paper or on a building and you never lose, you know, you know your edges stay clean. So when you bring things in that you know might change in shape and size, you wanna make sure and hit that little sundial, right? Like a little burst is what it looks like. Yep, right and that just means that it will continue to uh, to like hold well, that see, shape when, without when, when I degrading. When I push it, my bounding box uh, conforms to the shape. 
when I don't push it, the bounding box conforms to the entire composition size. Ooh, I didn't even know yeah. about that. So you see, you see this little this little box. Bounding box is something from from Photoshop that you can take away. So oh, me encanta. Yeah. So now we have this this shape layer here. Learning stuff every day. Mm-hmm. How y'all doing? How we doing out it's there? So good life. Do, Do we have a giveaway? Did they already is give it away? Oh, oh yeah, goose goose. Guys, oh. all right, hit us up. Get, How are you thinking? What do you think about this? How comments. we doing? Are we? Is this, is it? Is the pacing good? Are you learning things? Is it fun? What's going on? Do you want a pillow? Do you want to have dreams? Animation dreams seep into your brain while you sleep. I think that if you get this and you sleep on it for a month, you learn everything about After yeah, Effects. I'm is what I heard. <laughs> That's a true. Rumor. That's true. That's how we They're like, that's wait, how I learned. Pillow how fight. I learned. <laughs> <laughs> we need more pillows of a pillow fight. That Who so wants this pillow besides me? I collect all of them. Look, we got Tyrone. Ooh, we got Robert. 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 Get Hello, it. Hi. Hi. I'm stuck at pick whip. Whip. I know. I love a pick whip. I love a pick whip. You can pick whip yourself to this pillow. I love a cool whip. Yes. Whip. There are 1,500 people 63. watching and only how many people commenting you better get lit in that comments i like that there are 1500 people watching there were only like 900 there like were. an hour ago everyone That's woke cool. up thanks guys they're awake thanks now. for joining us thank this you morning. for coming i'm darcy signs hope Valentine you're enjoying maya what's going on very on? exciting tutorial <laughs> so excited so excited all okay. right do we have a drum roll yet if i win i want to do it with the guys blue shirt oh <laughs> <laughs> pillow 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 <laughs> Hype it up. Hello. Throw it up, throw it up. Hello. That's how we ball out. Oh, I should probably. <laughs> <laughs> I need this. I do I'm need this. Mad Misa says I need this. I need Mr. all of this. This game is rigged. <laughs> it's not. I won't win. We're not, We're not with that attitude, Mr. Director. We're not picking. Come on. It's I not like me. some hypes. I Got like awesomeness. We do. What did we give away yesterday? Photoshop. We did premiere, premiere. yesterday. Oh, premiere. My bad. My bad. I don't want to talk about Photoshop. After Effects is the Photoshop of video, of mo of moving, of motion. Yep. Moving pictures is what they say. I've Everyone heard. showed up for the pillows. You are so right. Everyone was like, <laughs> including you, Kathleen. <laughs> Starlin, <laughs> Tima. Oh, thanks, Tima. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a winner. Yesterday, who's winner? Oh, the winner India! is India. India, oh, sorry, I really need to do the drum roll. My bad. You're good. <laughs> it's okay, I love it. Okay, India. 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 Are we saying your name correct? Oh my God, India? I'm pronouncing it so wrong. India J. We have a winner. I'm no need for more. I mean, you, you can't. I mean, keep telling us how there we cute go. we are. We love positive affirmations. How smart we are. Adobe That's Live said it. Oh. Wonderful. All so right. Somebody's talking to me in Russian. Hi. Hi. If Hello. you type in Russian, I can also understand. You can just. India, Jay, congratulations. All your After Effects dreams will now come true. Yay, Beautiful. congrats, India. Ooh. All right, we'll get okay, back. Let's, let's, get get back to, we're back. let's get back to business. Let's get back to business, please. Okay. <laughs> Everybody. All right, so if you just joined us, we're making Lower Third from scratch. From to, scratch. From scratch for Shameless Maya's YouTube show, giving her some options to uh, you know, have versatility, mm -hmm. add some really cool pops and fun to her videos. And, yeah, everyone's uh, like, here we go. Back to get biz. back to work. <laughs> okay, so under under this rectangle, we have some options here. So if we go into contents, it says rectangle. I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in for y'all. Um, it says rectangle path one, and in the path we have these sizing options, and that's what we're gonna need to modify. So right now they're linked. This is a little constrained proportions, but if we unclick it. Then we'll see, you oh, know, if we move okay. one, it mm -hmm. moves. Like they, that. So they don't both move it, the, the, the width and the height don't they move at the same They don't keep the same, same ratio. So we're going to unselect that. And then here's where we're going to go into expressions. If I mess up, just bear with me, okay? This is not the easiest expression. This, so it's not. Source rectal time is not my favorite expression. Yeah. And I've done it over and over again, and I get it right 50% of the time. Yeah. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do... we're learning. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slider to this layer. This is how I do it. So I'm going to go to Effects and Presets, and I'm going to find Slider Control. I'm going to drag it onto this layer. So it's under Effects here, and it's called Slider Control. And I'm going to rename that 
what, it, what am I renaming it? Uh, background width. Oh, we're we're getting in. Ooh, I we're like it. Entering the and zone. And the reason I'm I'm and I'm putting a little slider in there is because you might want to have a little bit more padding on the sides of the box, um, even when the type is typed in. So this slider is going to be helping with that that little padding. Um, and now that I have that, I'm going to go to the size. I'm going to click Alt, click on that. To bring up expressions. Bring so anytime up expressions. you're adding in expressions or pick whipping one property whipping. to another, <laughs> yes. Alt click on the stopwatch. And I'm gonna paste my expression that I Where did you find this expression? Um Probably on the, Creative Cloud. It, creative it's cloud like on the forums. It's on the it's on the After Effects okay. forums. Yeah, so it's this like is literally also the cool thing about expressions. You know, it is complicated to kind of wrap your head around. It's basically coding within After Effects. Right. But the cool thing about the AE community is that people really share. Um, so oftentimes you can just Google like what you're looking for mm -hmm. and you can find that expression and copy and paste it. And you might need to make some adjustments, but it gives you a nice like place to jump off from. Yeah. So here, Okay, so I have, uh, I need to designate what is T1. And actually, I'm gonna use it from a different, so I have a different one that I made. Remember the intro? Yep. I'm actually gonna go into the intro because the intro, I already did this. Um, oh, right, when it. Yes, okay. so I'm just gonna, I'm going to go into. Now we're controls. getting into the nitty gritty guys. Yeah. Control. So this, this was the same thing that I did um, you know, I had the intro words. Right now we're looking at the, the words for the lower thirds. So here I have my, my bottom word and my top word. And if I go into, this is my rectangle style, that had a size um, expression on it. I'm gonna go into it. So this is like the hardest part of it, right? This was the expression that took me like. Oh, this is the one where you were telling it. So like you have two lines of text mm -hmm. and you're saying to the rectangle box, yeah. your, oh, your background right. box, hey, always be the size when this of text is the text, mm -hmm. but if the second line is longer right. than the first line, be the size of that one. Right. Right? Yes. Okay. And um, I'm I'm giving it a buffer. So like here, 100. so X1 was my first line, right? And then I'm telling it to add a hundred pixels also. So that it gives it a little padding. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna just copy this entire expression. Such a wizard. Yo, it's like not easy. Okay. It's not easy. It takes a while. But once you get it, you're like, ah. Right? So lower thirds box, I'm just gonna go in there, I'm gonna type that in. But is there something you would have to do to make this expression work mm -hmm. for this one? Mm -hmm. Cause Ooh. right now it's pointing to all like of these. An old, to a an different old comp. One. Yeah, to an old comp. So if I select it, sure, it'll do something, but it's it's referencing, it's referencing a different yeah. comp entirely. So instead of making it reference that comp, I'm gonna have it reference um, my original reference text comp for the lower third. The thirds. very first thing we the made. The very first thing we made, New which reference. is this. Which is you type type. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any design on it, but it's the guide. It light. has the guide <laughs> in it, right? So I'm gonna make sure to, you know, I'm gonna pancake it again. That just makes pick whipping easier. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Lower thirds box. That's what I'm working on. So uh, the first one here, I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna pick whip it to the first line. And the reason, so basically with expressions, what that, I learned this from Evan Abrams, who'll be on the Adobe Live later After. today at one with uh, Jake in Motion, uh, is that the, what, that first thing that you're doing is kind of like an address, like mm -hmm. the, an IP address, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's saying, hey, go look at that comp and look at that layer and look at that effect or that text. And, and it's just giving... It's how you build those relationships up. It's yeah. like, hey, you ship my up. What's going on? And then we we talk for forever. This so this expression that I did earlier, because Maya wanted uh, an option where the box had a height. You wanted to set the height. That was right. like one yes. of your. You came back and you're like, well, what if I don't want it to always be a rectangle mm -hmm. or always be an oval? What if I want it to be a circle? Mm -hmm. So right, I added yeah. another expression here, but I'm going to take it out. 
I added a Y, but right now I don't need it because I always want it to sort of match what the text looks like. So I might add it later, but it's a little bit too complicated. So I'm gonna get rid of all the Ys. Why? And this is cool in the sense too that you <clears throat> once you build an expression out, you yeah. kind of can repurpose it and manipulate it yep. to suit your needs. So it later. should work now. Oh. Hold up. It's saving. Oh, good call. Nice to think. Yeah. We do have auto save. Well, that's what it's doing. What oh, about this challenge, guys? While we wait, and yeah, you guys challenge. working on your challenge? Okay. Or we, here, let me see if people are. Get your submissions. One year in. We're gonna be subscription looking, looking at those. At okay, around so 1040. as you see right now, let's see what's happening. She a score. Listen, this is like a whole thing. Do you think it should not be referencing that type height page, but the actual a comp that you had them stacked on? No, so it's referencing it's it's referencing the the reference text. So the reference text is whatever I want it to be. Right now I typed in type pipe. Right. But yeah. it could ch I could change it and it should be able to change. So if I go into but but right now I'm just trying to make this this box fit. I know. It, but is isn't it, this maybe box your anchor point needs to align with the anchor point? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could could be perhaps, yes. So right now my anchor point is somewhere in the middle. Uh-huh. <laughs> But you would want to maybe put it down into the right, yeah, the the, the left corner to match that exactly. That so I want to put it here, How and we, then I want to yeah. move it. Oops. Then I want to move it over. And right now, what I'm saying in this expression is I'm saying, oh, and then I I need to do another. I need to do another thing later. But instead of tech talk intro, because this was for the intro one. Um, Right for the expression controls on the intro, I'm gonna say tech talk lower third. And here is where it gets into yeah. some fun stuff because I have to go back into my main composition and start building my expression controls. Ooh, okay. That's fun. Yes. Drag so and drop. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause this. It'll all make sense. Um, it's hard explaining this because it, it is. is it is pretty complex, but I'm gonna go back and we're gonna look at it. So tech talk lower third. Right now, all it has is this reference text. Um, I am going to put in our uh, lower thirds box just so that we can see it. There it is. And I'm gonna turn off the visibility. You can see there's a little eye. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna mm -hmm. turn off the invisibility on the reference text so we can just see the box. Um, and I'm gonna start by creating a null. Ooh. Do you wanna explain what a null is? Yeah, so a null layer is essentially uh, an invisible layer that can be used to map a lot of things too. So in, in After Effects, we have what we call like parent-child relationships. Mm -hmm. So think about it this way. If you have like four or five different things that you want to all be able to move at the same time, what you can do is create a null layer. So it's this invisible layer. And then you can pick whip all of those five <laughs> other layers to that one and make them, make the null the parent so that in order to move all those five things, you only have to deal with. You the have to only mm -hmm. have to deal with the parents instead of them. Instead of having to do really everything five or six or seven children. times, so your null layers can really clean up your comps. They can really help just make your animations a little more Why efficient. Why did you go back to this comp though? Because it's your main one. Oh, okay. It's yeah. your okay. filing so cabinet. I, I, okay. I'm, I need to start system. putting in those expression controls in okay in, in the in main comp. Okay. So otherwise, it 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 won't work. Okay. So I'm gonna go to uh, layer new and I'm gonna make a null object and here it it's there and I'm gonna rename it. <laughs> I'm so dead at these comments. Sorry. Expression controls. And then just a real quick refresh on expression controls. These are under effects and they you have sliders, knobs, rotational knobs, uh, check boxes, color, and these are essentially empty UI mm -hmm. that you get to you get to say that controls this one thing or these five things. Yeah. And that's a really again another efficient way yeah. of driving multiple things at once. In this case, what I really what I really want is um, what if you don't want that second line, right? What if you want just the first line to appear. So I want to make a checkbox control right. so that you check it on for the second line and check it off if, if you don't want if it. If you don't want it and things so, will adjust. I'm gonna go into effects and presets here. And what's fun is you don't have to go through the, the menus if you don't want to, you can just look for just it. Type you know it what in. you're looking for. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, checkbox control is under expression controls here. Perfect. I'm gonna drag it in on top of expression controls. So now, it's under here, effects, checkbox control. Boom. 
and I'm gonna rename was it. Was that layer there the entire time? We just we added. Just added. That was the no. That was a no. That was a no. Parent. Yeah. And on there it shows up as expression control. We I re renamed. You renamed it. it. Mm -hmm. I was checked out. You can rename everything. Okay. You can cool. Rename Perfect. No <laughs> layer. I love it. Drag it and drop in. Rename. So we named it expression controls because this no layer is gonna be acting the master plan. as my master plan. Yes. yes. Exactly. So I'm going to, so right now it's called checkbox control. And again, in After Effects, names are really important because that's what tells the program to Look over here. Things. Right. And that's what tells the expression control. Again, it's just like an address. Like we are right now at 601 Townsend in San Francisco, California, planet Earth. You know, if, if I change the name to Seattle, we won't be there. Right. So we can't make that connection. And the reason I'm adding this is because in my lower thirds box, this expression that I copied over, right? It, you can see it reads, if the comp tech talk lower third layer expression controls yeah. the effect second line on, if that checkbox is on, right. then this is gonna be the height. If it's off, then this is gonna be the height. But I didn't have that layer expression controls. So it's, and I didn't point, have that it's not checkbox. pointing it's to not anything. It's not pointing to anything. And that's why it's creating this little error situation here. But when I change this checkbox control and I rename it to uh, second line on, <laughs> second line on. We're 12. It's going to get rid of it. So now there's no more there's error. There's not an error because yeah. now it's saying, hey, this relationship exists. Right. I see you. But I see you second line exactly. on. Exactly. But it's not exactly the same, you know, um, it's it's still taking those measurements from that previous comp that I copy pasted. So I have to go in and figure out, okay, what are these measurements um, going to be? So let's see. Debasmita asked, do I link all the animations to the null layer and make it apparent of visible layers? It just depends on what you're doing. You don't have to make it visible. You don't have to make it visible It doesn't have to be. All. So if I turn it off, if I turn off the visibility, it doesn't do yeah, anything? It's just an empty vessel right now for the expression controls that we're building in this particular uh, example yeah. of how we're using it. But there are many different ways to use null layers. You can use null layers to control camera movements. That's often a way that people work with cameras um, to control animation uh, of how thing, like multiple things come in and out of the screen. But in this, re in this resource, we're using it as right. a like master controller yeah. to so, puppet the rest so of the for this So for this controller, you see when I turn it on, the box is wider, right? When I turn it off, the box shrinks. But the issue is because I haven't added that same checkbox control to the actual type, we still see the first and second line on, right? So if we go um, into, oh, uh, or, yeah, so one little trick that I've learned with these expression controls, if you select the if you select the null layer and you go up here to your top left in the effect controls panel, you can actually you can lock it. You can click this little lock and that way when you exit out of this tab, it stays up there. So you can pick whip it. So you can continue you can seeing See, it like basically making those connections yes. back to your master control. So now we have, we're in the lower thirds text. Now this is like our text text, right? Um, and our second line is this, this top layer. And we want to make it so that we don't see it when the checkbox is on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to the opacity. Mm. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna use the expression. Sorry, guys, I don't have the expressions memorized. All right. No, um, copy and paste is your best yeah, friend listen. with expressions. Listen. Um, <laughs> listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. <laughs> this is how it's happening. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go into. I'm gonna go into my my other one. Who knew? Who knew? And the cool thing is, you know, once you start building things out repurpose the things yes. that you're having, reuse them. Don't yeah. you don't have to keep working. Yeah. Know. So see here in my in my intro composition, I did the same thing. My bottom word had an expression on the opacity and it's saying if the expression control second line on is on, if the checkbox is on, then you show it. If it's not, then you don't. Your opacity so is all I have to do is copy. is copy it and then take it into my uh, comp. lower thirds text we comp. And I'm gonna Nope, wrong one. I'm gonna paste it in here. But instead of Tech Talk intro, all I have to do is change it to Tech Talk lower, lower third. Because again, we're pointing to that main exactly. content and we're now working. And with. there we go. And now if I go back to um, my main my main boy here and I click it off, see, it disappears. It disappears. 
But now you're like, oh. Why is that box not? Right. Why is type not moving, mm -hmm. right? So this is part of the process, you guys. So part you of the go, process. You go, into, you go into back into your you know, lower thirds box. And that's, that's what's in this expression here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this expression here. So it's saying if the checkbox is on, then the x variable, the, the width of the box, is going to be um, the width of the first word. Is that what that 200. says? 200, if the checkbox is on. So if the checkbox is on, or if the, if the check is, sorry, if the check is off, then we only have the first word to go off of, right? Because right. there's, there's only one line. So if the checkbox is off, which means there's no second line, it's only one line, it's saying that the X should be the length of the text, and then the height should be 200. That's just a set height that I made. Okay. So let's go back to it. So if we, if we click off that, that height. That is 200 pixels. That's 200 pixels, okay. And then it should um, adjust at some point. Hold on, where is it? Okay. And then it's saying, however, if the if the size of, if it's off, as in, or if, if the checkbox is on, which means that there's two lines, right? Uh -huh. If the checkbox is on, that means there's two lines. And the first word is longer than the second word, then it's going to be the length of the first word 417 pixels. If the second word is longer than the first word, then it's going to be the length of the second word, 417 pixels. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, I mean, yes, okay. a little bit. Which, Maya, do you think, I mean... I mean, I get it. Why 417 pixels, though? That was what I chose okay. from the other thing, okay. but it could be... So, like, for example, um, we can change it. So if this is too tall, for example, right, and we want to do something like 350 pixels. So we change this to 350... And when we exit out of it, so you're essentially when you're designing these things and you're you're creating all these relationships, you're trying to create a lot of if this then that mm -hmm. when you're planning for things being dynamic, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that just gets you know a little bit complicated. And I'm sure you're probably like mapping this out a bit to yeah. kind of get us there, right? Exactly. And and um, now with the the top line, so if I if I deselect that second line on, right? Yeah. Like so I did here. So if I if I deselect it, ah. it still stays the way it is. It still stays in the same position. So I'm gonna have to introduce an expression into the position. Into yeah. the position so that of it the first one. will right. point to the if position. If there's only of the, one line, the text then line. position it where this type is. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> She's paying attention. She's trying. Exactly. <laughs> so y'all doing all right out there? Y'all y'all understand this? This is this is like the hardcore stuff right here. So um, I'm gonna just copy that, just that if then statement, and I'm gonna go into um, the lower thirds text here. So now we're now we're here, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I might want to draw, you know, uh, just some guides for myself yeah. so I know where that box middle is, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, in the position of this first layer, yes. we're gonna go down. We're gonna go into the position here. Yes. So right now the position <laughs> is that th that which I'm gonna write down. This is why I have seven oh four. So right five, now it's seven oh four. Listen, we go in five. We go into the. This matrix. is what they should teach at Deep school. Into the matrix. I mean, like, and this, yeah, those means, those numbers stand for your x and y values. Yes. yes. So, so it's seven oh four across. Yeah. It's five forty eight. So this is the one that we're changing. We're changing the five forty eight. The how, why? How high the, it the, is. the height. Yeah. So if I if I alt click on the position and I paste this expression saying that if it's on you want it to be on and then the x and y axis you want it to change. be uh, the x you want it to be what 704 704 548 yeah you want it to match Five. the position of that of text type. layer so that things look or, good or else it's going to be the 704, and then we're just gonna experiment and see what number works. So okay. I'm just gonna do 200 and see if, okay, that's <laughs> incorrect. Okay. Absolutely and this is the, you know, this is the thing about AE that I find, you know, is, is just necessary, is that you, you have to play and you have to try things out and tinker and you always end up learning a lot. Yeah. 
So um, I just put in some numbers. Let, let's see. Let's see if it works, right? Let's just go to the top directory, lower third. We're gonna check that box on. Check and the off. box. Okay, that's way too low. It's so way I too chose low. A number but it did move. So yeah, we're, but we it are did move. So we're on the right track. So I chose seven hundred. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe I'll Maybe choose five. Six. Well, five forty-eight is oh, where right, we right, were. right, 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 right. So we need to choose in between five forty-eight and seven hundred. And why nah. are you choosing? Like, why are you doing? To try to get the position of it on the screen, See, right so you know, in your composition, you got like nineteen oh, twenty by ten. Okay, you're okay. Yeah. So you're just you're, you're just trying, trying to just bump one. it okay. so that when it moves, they always move together. Okay. Yep. Hi guys. Um, but here's here's a here's a little thing. Like sometimes, so right now, this is perfectly in the middle, right? It's it's oh, oh. It's giving you enough, you know, at the top, and it's giving you enough at the bottom. But what about but that? Yeah. What the, if there's no ascenders or descenders in the word? Right. Or what if there's just ascenders and just descenders? How's that gonna work? And that's why I like to add a little bit of a buffer slider, so that so the that user people have oh, a little bit okay. of padding. Yeah. And you know, there are also ways that I know I've seen expressions that I've played with where it automatically will add the padding. You can you can set the padding right, to equal, yeah. like add an extra twenty yeah. pixels or not, but you know, it, this again, there are many ways to rig things up. This is definitely not the end all be all. Right. But, but think, in the in the path that we're going, I think giving your user the ability to choose how much padding you yeah. want in your motion graphics template, you know, is always gonna be preferable. It's because more control. It's gonna give you yeah. more control in the end. I mm -hmm. think I think this is I mean, this is good for now. We, let's just stick with these these words. Yeah, so that we can yeah, and just move keep on going. to new things. Yeah. So just for a couple of a couple more options to give. So right now the only expression we have is the second line on and off, right? But we also want to be able to adjust all the colors. Yes. yes. And we also want to be able to adjust the the line thickness and the opacity yep. of of the background box. Of the oh. background I don't box always want it to and be and of the whole box the whole itself thing. with the text. Right. 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 So what we have to do is Sliders. go to the slider control. Exactly. So I'm going to type in slider slider control. I drag that into the expression controls and I'm gonna have to rename a bunch of stuff now. So I'm gonna yeah. So you rename some stuff. Maya and I will pick a, check out the chat pod here, which oh is yeah. bo it's Who's bumping started? right now. Uh, so there's not really. I don't know that oh. there's a name of the expression that you're using. There's a lot of things going on with it, but I think we sh we'll probably be able to. You know, we could probably copy and paste the text file or something into. Right, we could share that. I could share it for sure. Uh, um, also, actually. A really good re resource, Premier Gal on YouTube. Oh, I love Premier Gal. Yes, she's Kelsey. great. She has this exact expression in a video. She actually made a video about resizing text boxes for Mogerts, and she awesome. has this exact expression in her video description. So cool. So we'll share a link That's for that. That's so cool. Go see Premier Gal. She has a lot of really. She has cool a tutorials. lot of really great videos. She's yeah. awesome. Hi, Pablo. Good morning. And so I'm just renaming things. So that it makes sense for me. So Just like the background box opacity, and then the entire box opacity. So that's gonna be with the type. And in a way, when you're when you're renaming these things too, uh, you're trying to also make it understandable for the to user. your editor yeah. at the mm -hmm. end of the game, right? So they yeah. know what they're controlling. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, this in the expression controls. That's just for me when I put it into the essential graphics panel oh, right. and I'm renaming Duh. it for the user. Then I try to think of <laughs> things that sound a little bit better. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Right. 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 I got ahead of myself. <laughs> so, um, entire box opacity. Um, let's see. Top. Oh, I got to do slide. I'm excited. We got Colors. some good submissions coming in for the contest. Oh, also, how many have entered? Can we one, say? Two, three, four, five, six, five. We got like seven or eight oh, people. Oh, seven or eight people showed up. Showing up today. I like it. How much time do they have left? They got a minute and 20 seconds. Oh, get that, that. Get that in. Count is the like, final are we gonna, count. Are we going to be playing the winner? Or are we? We're going to, well, this time. I love you want to watch We only all had of them. one yesterday. We could only play the winner's video. <laughs> but today, we'll get to see a couple different. Okay, uh, cool. And, yeah. then, and then you guys will select. I, I mean, don't want to. Think, I think that you should select. Should I select? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. We're all winners. <laughs> You're like, every, you, get a, you get a creative cloud license. You get a creative. No. One. <laughs> uh, and also, then at 11 o'clock coming up, we've got. Uh, Pablo Lozano and Shonduras. We're gonna also be walking us through some awesome action. What are you guys gonna be working on today, Pablo? We're gonna be working on uh, another transition for the, another moment. Oh, cool. So, learning more transitions. 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 Fancy transitions. 
Uh, check out Pablo Lozano's work on Instagram if you're not following. Oh my gosh, so much beautiful animation happening. Uh, and then from one to three, got Jake in Motion and Evan Abrams. Also gonna be deep diving into expression work for sure. And uh, yeah, fun day planned today. Okay, so I've just set up a bunch of uh, a, a bunch of sliders and a she bunch of color working. controls that don't currently point to anything. Mm. Um, but I'm just I'm just making it, you know, I'm making it like make sense. Make knobs, bit. knobs, um, knobs, knobs. So box line width is not a color control. I don't know what I was thinking. That is a slider control. <laughs> Chris is gonna be at a spin class. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's? Sorry, Chris reading the comments. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Chris. Oh. Spin is taking over the nation. It is, man. I did it once. And, I okay, done that's it not yet. true. I did it for like a month, and I was like, I'm gonna go to the Olympics okay. for spin. So, class. because we don't have that much work. time, um, let's go into let's let's make all these colors fun. Okay. Like fun colors. And I just want to say we'll be back tomorrow, but without Maya, which I is know. so sad. He's gonna Pine do and tomorrow, dying. and I think we should finish up. We could. Well, oh, we, you know, yes. We, we could continue this tomorrow. tomorrow. To fi so finish this up. Yeah. You know, this has been complex. We got so we knocked out the hard kind of labor. This stuff. This is the hard and stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Maya. I know. But so, I'll tune in. Oh, what time? Tune in. Nine to eleven. I'll tune in. Yes. Tune in. Okay. Um, so all I did, as you saw me doing, is I set up a bunch of controls under here under expression controls that are currently not parented to anything. So I'm gonna go into, remember that lower thirds text that we made? I do remember that. And remember that we added that that color, that fill color, uh -huh. right? So we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna What pick, are we gonna do? Pick, whip, pick, whip, whip, pick, pick, whip it good. Whip so it be good. we're gonna pick whip it to, let's see, top text This color. is my favorite thing ever. Here we go. <laughs> this, watching you do this is Boom. like. <laughs> Right, Easy and step. then this is the bottom text. You're like the Wizard of Oz. These Alt. are all your controls. Bottom text Pink. color. <laughs> Bam. Oh, Pink. she's right. looking real cute. Mm. <laughs> and then we're gonna go into lower thirds box, right? So now we have this box, and this box also has stroke and fill options. So for the fill, we're gonna pick, we're gonna oh, get we... rid of that ugly line. No. Oh, oh, my thank line. God. Purples and, and pinks. That lime green was hurting yeah. my heart. <laughs> yeah, the stroke. We're gonna go to box line color here. Um, we're gonna go maybe to the width, so you can here in the here in the stroke. So you can right. control there that stroke, the stroke width. Stroke width is twenty. So if I <gasps> if I take it here, it's gonna take it down to one to zero. To zero. Cause cause it's zero. It's She's looking real zero. clean. Can you open up that little triangle yeah, there, so, and then so the folks can see? So you got a slide, slide control. Daddy. Slide, slide, slippery slide. slide. No, 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 no. Oh, actually, I want to add an opacity, yeah, for for the inner color. Yeah, because you're not gonna yes. always want that. We don't box always to want hyper so... lavender everywhere. Oh, I mean, or sometimes. whatever, <laughs> or whatever that color is. So I'm gonna rename it to um, what I'm gonna say: background, background opacity, box opacity. And then I'm gonna go into little lower thirds box, and here in the fill. Opacity, I totally woke up for this part. I'm like colors. Equipping. Me too. Yeah, yeah. equipping is the yeah. best. So right Colors now it's at best. right now it's at zero, but I can I can move it. Oh, yes. Ooh, you know, there we go. Okay, I like me black. Though. Yep. So I'm gonna save that. And yes. do you want to just show how we put this into the essential? Yeah, graphics? let's show that. Let's show. Panel. So let's start building that out. So We're this start is building. the essential graphics panel. Maya, do you can, you want to talk about what it is? No. Yeah. <laughs> tell us what you've learned. Let's see. Let's see if it, you know. What this. It's it's the it's where you the can way like I'll have the controls yeah where you can like I can change the the width of the stroke on the outside of the box I can get rid of it or make it big I like to keep it either gone or just like one A pixel bit. so she real thin and modern real and beautiful. classy but it's basically the controls that are gonna end up in Premiere that I or can your use. editor see I won't deal with this stuff as like an editor I'm just like play with colors play with shapes yep. and yeah. So, so let's just, yeah. I mean, what we've done here today is actually like super useful because we've made a very basic lower third that could be the start of literally anything. anything. I mean, we have a plan here. Yeah, so we are gonna get to that plan. That we will execute, but these are the building blocks that can start any lower third. Any lower third. Yeah. And, we, and, and this is basically from here is like, you can go in so many directions. It's, your, in, it's your how you want to animate it. But it's important, like, again, it's important to, to have this plan, but it's also important yep. to build this, you know, to not start with like the fun, fancy things and then forget to do 
the important the fundamentals. Important fundamentals. You gotta yeah. have your foundation. Yes. Before so you can decorate the house. So we're gonna go to window. <laughs> Um, essential graphics, and that pops up the essential graphics there. panel. See, this is what I see on Boom. my end. And and we're gonna choose the master. And uh, luckily, I called it, you know, Tech Talk underscore lower third, yes. so we can find it. So good oh, again. So that, really, that, that, you know, thinking about your organizational patterns is important so that you save yourself time yep. and headache later. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop that reference text in there, right? So That's the, the first thing. Yeah, we want people to be able to change type and hype to whatever they want. So we're going to go to source text, drag and that in, cool. and then we're going to say line one or something. Oh, sure, top. yeah. Line one. Perfect. And this is the cool thing. Once you drag these parameters into the essential graphics panel, you can rename them anything you want, anything that makes yeah. sense to you, anything that you think will make sense to the person that you're working with. You know, but the, the important thing is, so see how I chose the master to be Tech Talk Lower Third, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm choosing parameters from the Lower Third's reference text. Because that's what's driving. Right. That's what remember, the it's, it's the, the null, roots. The parent. It's mm -hmm. driving all the others. Well, the, the controls are in the null. Oh. Good. But the important <laughs> thing is, the important thing is that I, I have put the Lower Third's reference text layer into the master comp that I'm working off of. If this layer wasn't here, like say if I deleted it, yeah. it wouldn't work. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Oh, it's show saying, up red. What do you it's mean? Like, where is this? This control from? has nothing. Control like you gotta put the connected. file in the folder yes. and put the folder in the filing cabinet. Otherwise, yes. you put the filing cabinet in the office. Where? Right? <laughs> so now check it out. Now if I change this, so if I say Maya, <gasps> you know it's your name. Uh, ah! So it's a little. But we got to we'll, we'll fix it. We'll yeah. fix it. It yeah. has some More bugs codes. right now. But yeah, um, I'll fix it by tomorrow. It'll look real pretty. Okay. So now we're gonna go into expression controls, and we're gonna just start dragging stuff. So for example, second line on the checkbox here. Second line on. Second line. So right now it's on. If I choose it off, oh, here it is. So right. you got that control. Yep. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Then let's see, top text color. So bring that in. Now here we're calling it, I called it top text, but Maya wants to be line one, line two. It's totally. Just keep it consistent. Keep it consistent. For your, for, don't make things so complicated. Line for one color, later. you know. Um, bottom text color, line. And now, you know, when you have these. Color controls here, you can change the colors also from the essential graphics panel, just like you yes, were from the timeline or from the effects control panel. They're all correlated and related together. You keep toggling the caps on and off. Yeah, because I wanna I wanna I wanna type caps here, but when you when you turn caps on to I after learned that effects, the hard way. It yeah, it disables things. And yep. there's a reason for like, it why? that's like really old school and there's a couple of folks that we've been like, we need to get rid of that because I don't think it makes sense anymore. Right. And as someone who's like and not you, this, I was like, like what did why I do? does this keep saying error? And then I why finally clued in that caps was on. I'm like, oh. But you know, like back <laughs> in the day in the 90s, like I think when before like user experience was a conversation, right. like remember how like mean all the error messages were? It'd be like, you're so dumb. Why did you do that? And you're like, ah, broke it. Remember back in like dial up days? And so I think we're, you know, it's kind of we're learning right. like, oh, you could just n n lovingly let someone know how to like. I get you know, it. How to guide them. The back only way to. I get it is like in Photoshop when I have the caps on, then I can't see um, when I'm like cloning or stamping things, and I'm like, oh, I, I don't see the actual. The the yeah. When you need to do the alt yeah. click to get your source. So or I have whatever. to turn the caps on or off. But here we get error messages. I gotta redo it. Hold on. Oh, I did it twice. Cool. I did it twice. That's why it's not working. Cool, cool, cool. I gotta just get rid of that one. Okay. So background box effect. Uh, something that's that's Boom. important to mention is that you can edit the range. So right now my box line width, it's at 20 right now, but it it can right, go up yeah. all the way here. Ooh. So maybe that's not no, exactly. As a necessary. designer, you know, what we talked about this yesterday, you as an author of, of motion graphics templates and the designer, you are you know, you get to put bumpers up for yeah, maybe your end your user, your client. Maybe you get I to wanted say, to max out at forty, right? You so. don't get to make it look ugly like that if you don't <laughs> You're want. not allowed. You're not allowed. My name to is do on that. that. <laughs> so you can adjust the values of your slider and limit yeah. so to kinda like, you know, in, in bowling where you put the mm -hmm. little, you know, right. so, so keep I'm them telling from them, going in the gutter. I'm telling them here that, you know, you can go from zero to 40 and the default's gonna be 20 that you're gonna see. Wonderful. So, and then right the opacity, the as you can see, the, the range is from zero to 100, 
and I'm just gonna do default 100 cool. so that people can can then see. So now, you know, whenever I change anything, I wanna change the line two color to something else, it changes. Boom. I wanna change line one color to something else, it changes. I wanna just one line, there no. we go. Um, and this is also, you know, even if you're not, for the, an alternative use case for the Essential Graphics panel that I think is really fun, is that sometimes when you're, you know, you, as you see, we've got tons of different comps, we're working in a lot of different comps, it can get really tricky, like bouncing in and out of all of those places mm -hmm. and twirling down and trying to find where things are. If you have a couple of properties that you know you're gonna be constantly manipulating or wanting to play with, you know, in, in their valid properties, which a lot of them, I mean, things are coming down the line in two weeks, so check it out. Make sure you update in two weeks. Uh, when you can drag those properties up into the EGP so that it kind of essential is your graphics panel. It, it, essential graphics panel. <laughs> thank you. So that it is easier for you to sort of uh, control the things that you're going to be accessing and manipulating without having to right. get into the weeds a bunch. Um, should we look at our oh, challenge? Yes. Yeah, we yeah, plan yeah. all of them. Thank you so much for walking us through all of that. Thank you, Valentina. And I'm going to tune in tomorrow. I'm going to be in the comments yeah. with all of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Going yes, in, yeah. in the Wait, comments. Wait, don't understand. Slow down. Okay. And uh, we're going to. that was helpful. Yeah, that I was mean, very we helpful. We got through the the tricky stuff, and then tomorrow we'll get to. The fun. I like that you George. started in the the weeds. Yes. Like I'm just like, because the payoff is great. I'm like colors. It's Quitting. beautiful, and now we've got these great fundamentals to to work and build on, and now really start to to play with. And we're going to be tomorrow focusing on kind yeah. of like ways that you can make your motion look beautiful and smooth. Oh, my favorite part. That's yeah. I know. I love me some animation yeah. motion. Well, maybe you have to change your flight and stay with us. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's check out some of these. Um, boop. Okay. Are we playing? Yes. Yeah, let's play. I think we should go back to my screen. Okay. Oh, wait. Wow. What? Pause. Okay. Just make sure I got my volume. Are you guys up. tuned in? Watching. All right. Okay, so the challenge was to download a motion graphics template with a transition, add a little zhuzh. So maybe, then, yeah, what we can do is. Oh, uh, oh we missed we, it, we didn't we? Show what What's the transition? Oh, transition. And explain what you will be working on today. Yeah, sure. So yesterday we were working Ooh, <laughs> sound, sound, sound effect. Me gusta. <laughs> Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Who was that? That was uh, Mary Achi. Mariachi. Hi, Mariachi. That was cool. That I'm was sure cool. she's never heard that before. <laughs> hey. It's not, but I'm, but I love mariachis. I wanted to be a mariachi singer. Oh, oh. when I was thirteen, sure, I was determined. Did, yesterday and did they go in the beginning? Be no, no. Today. Yeah, sure. So yesterday. All right. Ooh, what? Short version. They made a second Ooh, one. Ooh, a second one. Oh, they made two. This is. So. Oh. oh, you mean, oh okay. Okay. Turn it okay. Out. I, I like see. it. I see how it goes. Who was that? Did we say who it was in the beginning? That was Anna. Mm, was it? Yeah. Yes, okay. we have it right there. Okay, okay. Juan Carlos more. Ramirez. We'll start by me getting the Oops. lens cap off uh -oh. that thing from all the professionals here. Oh, I love him. Okay. I'm so proud of guys. Guys, it's so good. <laughs> all right, let's see, let's see. Oh! oh. Okay. So, oh, oh, Juan Carlos. <laughs> Putting the logo in there. Show what we did yesterday and explain Very what smart. We did that was... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yes! yes. <laughs> May Encanta! I like that. Can we so see that? you can yes, add, add one again. Just like from the middle. Did they add a JP? Or is that? Yeah, they added. Explain what you would be working on today. Uh huh. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, dope. Yep. Yep. Very so cool. it looks like you used the motion graphics template, on. added a little logo of Adobe, and then we went back into the footage. Oh, look, it's our video from yesterday. Which oh, you can nice. Okay, that was awesome, Juan Carlos. Let's Good look job. at Rod Johnson. So maybe then, yeah, what we can do is uh, maybe recap, uh, show what we did yesterday, and explain what you will be working on today. Yeah, sure. So oh, oh. <laughs> let's look that at that again. That was really fun. What was that one? Really fun. Like that one. Yeah, sure. Well, you know what I like? <laughs> what I really like about it is that it matches the graphics of the lower thirds that that are that popping out. Yes, that's that was I'm a all really about nice that. touch. Let's see that again. Yeah, sure. So Ooh, that's nice. Cool, cool. That was really dope. That was like a smooth transition. I like that. That was super, super dope. That was Rod Johnson. Kathy, let's see what you what you got up to today. Oh, okay. oh we went a little black. And Ooh. 
so they added music. <laughs> they changed it black and white. What you would be working on today. Yeah, sure. Very cool. A couple. That was cool. Let's just replay that first one. That's so. not a transition. No, so maybe but I think the transition. Would no, but they put it. But in I think twice. they started. They started. The beginning. And it did a start and end. Uh, got it, got it. You see, like it's like they were transitioning into the clip oh, I see. and transitioning I see out of the clip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. That was dope. That was dope. Cool. Who was that? Y'all are. That was Kathy Lamborell, and then Jurgen Kaiser. Let's see what's going on here. Chris says we're nice. You recap Thank you. show what Thanks, we Chris. did yesterday and explain what you will be working on today. Yesterday we were... I love that sound effect. It's yeah. so dramatic. Does it come sound effects? Is, well, I, don't I don't think, think it does. I think, I think people are adding it, which is really, really I like the awesome. extra touch. I like that extra. <laughs> I bet it was so like... I was so, I was so scared. What was going to come up next? <laughs> awesome, Jurgen. And then we got... Oh, Kulod? Cool, cool, cool Anybody want to help me with that? No. Nope. She said, nope, sure don't. Well, fine. And then I want to watch Tyrone's. I skipped Tyrone because he's been a previous winner. I'm sorry, I skipped you. Oh, oh. Okay. oh I like it. it oh. Added some titles. It looks like um, so Kalud used, used, it, used it twice. Uh, did it in reverse? Maybe. To make it longer. Which again, your motion graphics yeah. templates are just like any yeah, clip sure. in... Premiere, so, so you can play with it in multiple ways. Let's see if we do it, have another transition. Oh. Jamming on the one, jamming on the one. <laughs> cool. All right, don't play. No, no, no. you play oh. the opposite. Uh, opposite of what I want to do. <laughs> and then one last one here from Tyrone Henry. Okay. Oh. He's in his Vimeo. So maybe Daniel, nope. what we can do is. <laughs> our... I like those Cowbell. <laughs> I like the colors though. They match the the colors match the little bubbles. You know, this has me confused because there was one entry that looked good, but it didn't seem to use the same transition as all the other ones. Yes, yeah. I think. Well, but it was oh, that in the one. challenge that you could use a different template if you wanted oh, to. Okay. I think is what Gus said. Goose goose. Is it was it a true story that people were allowed to use a transition that they wanted to? They didn't. Ha they weren't limited to. Cool. So, I don't know. I feel like there are three I want to see over again. Yeah. Um, Should we put it to the viewers? Yeah. What did you guys like? Uh, well, let's let's maybe okay. let's narrow down the more? final three. We'll watch them over again, and then y'all help us decide who's going to be like the winner. Two or three. Yeah. So I really loved Juan Carlos. Same. And I think that that was yeah with yes, this Adobe. I loved this one. Really mm -hmm. playing to so our playing logo into love. our hearts over here. So there's one. I mean, content. Wait, it's coming up though. Here, here it comes. They did it twice. They did it twice. Oh, they used it twice. Boom! And I liked it. Like so, look. In the first one, they did more. They played it's like more a title with the card. white. Yeah. And then the second one, they played they more to as, the black and the reds. They used it as both a title card and, and a transition. transition. Yes. Really smart. Purpose, really which smart. Is real smart. Uh, no sound effects though, and so I'm kind of into the sound yeah. effects. Who else did we love? Uh, Rod the Johnson one? was maybe the one that did the circles. That so maybe then yeah, what we can do is uh, maybe that little cutie pie, show what Michael. We did yesterday and explain what you would be working on today. Yeah, sure. So, <laughs> recap. Ah! recap. Okay, recap. So there's okay. that one. The and Adobe sign. Was it Kathy that did a little? We who, need a sound effects one. Like? Well, let's go back to. Maybe it was Mary. So yeah, maybe they're Daniel, voting. What we can do is uh, maybe recap, uh, show what we did yesterday, and explain what you will be working on today. Yeah, sure. So yesterday we were oh, working cool. on the, the sound. I like the sound. Website. It reminded me. It felt like it was about to go into girls just want to have fun. <laughs> 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 One more. A lot of people. I mean, people are voting for circles. P circles. I mean, I can't go against that. Circles. The crowd has spoken. Yeah. All right. Cool. All yeah. right. Well, <laughs> who's circles? Rod Johnson, I believe. Mm. Let me just double check. Just double check. Let's just double check. Let's make sure. So what we did yesterday and explain what you would be working on today. today. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Recap. Boom. Oh. Rod Johnson for it, the win. It went with the everything else. Woo. Yeah. Okay. I liked it. I mean, he went. He's he he marched to the beat of his own drum. Yeah. Rod, he was like, forget this. Today, going rogue. You going going rogue has paid off for you, <laughs> and we salute you, sir. Awesome.
Great job. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. Thank you. How much time do we have left? To We're fill? At, oh. 10 minutes? Can we get we back to work then? Can we see a couple? Do you want to do do show us yeah. a little? Yeah, let's. Maybe let's, we can. What do you think we let's could do? A little. Let, well, let's. It's still working backwards here. Yeah. Let's do. You know, let, if you look at my paper real quick. So, what we did just now is we finished this part, right? Yep. And maybe we, we'll go into this part. Exciting. Yeah, just like, a, like maybe we can start and show. That way, Maya gets a little bit of the fun I know, stuff. I know. You had to sit through all I the, want the motion. I think we can. You think we can do like a little something in 10 minutes? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're I a genius. Think I think we can too. In five minutes. Five minutes, even <gasps> better. Hey, it's fine. It's cool. We can do this. We got this. We got this. All right. Um, and recap, you know, just for those of you out there, you know, join us again tomorrow. We're going to be finishing up these lower thirds. We're moving from like the fundamental hard stuff to the really fun stuff. So tomorrow we'll be focusing on making your motion really nice and smooth. And uh, the graph editor, we'll get into that a little bit. Um, take it away. Yeah. So remember how I named this section the the box line? That's what I that's what I'm gonna make. So this this was just the box, right? So this part was the box, and this part inside that was the text. So that's how I'm naming it. So we're gonna do a box line. So we're just gonna go composition, new composition. Oh uh, wait wait wait. Lower third. Switch up that screen. Oh, switch up that screen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> new composition. <laughs> Lower third. Thanks Paco. Box line. Thanks Paco. Uh, who's switching our screen. Um, okay, so here I have a new composition and I'm gonna put in uh, that lower thirds box that we made. So now there it is. Put the there. file in the folder. Put the file to in the, the, the filing cabinet. In the office. Right. Um, and I'm gonna put in that little that little that diagonal little swoosh little that diagonal I made. That you've already made. That you've already that made. You've already that made. We'll break have. down how we made it tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe. I'm, About how we made it. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> So here, it's it's living here. It's actually called Lime Green Solid One. See, it's important to rename things. I did not rename it that one time, but I'm just gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it into um, our line box, which I totally put somewhere. Um, and we can always go back to the project panel to find the comp we're looking is. for. There it is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it in here. So here it is. So there, it's happening. However. Its color right now is still referring to previous colors and previous compositions. So I'm going to go to effects. I used a, a change to color effect, and the two instead of um, instead of going to the intro. To the intro, we wanted to open point. up our expression controls, and I want it to be the same color as the line oh, yeah. of ah. the box, right? Luckily, that makes sense. we already made that expression. We already have that control. Now you just gotta it's hook right, it up. It's right up here, box line color. So instead, I'm gonna take this pick whip. And what are we gonna do, Maya? Copy, oh, whip it. Whip, whip, whip it. it. Pick, whip it There good. we go, and it should turn to white now. There, so, boom. So here we have it, bam, it's oh, happening. So right? pretty. So we'll show y'all how to make that tomorrow. So the, sexy. the fun thing that I'm, that works with this is that it goes directly into the two um, corners. corners. So all I gotta do is make a couple masks here. So I'm gonna. Oh, masks! Oh, I'm gonna mask it. Do we have time to mask? Yeah, we totally have time to mask. Okay. It's Ooh. guess what? Masks aren't that Alexis, hard. It's like, at it's like all. Top Chef. Yeah. Of, lower, yeah. of After Effects. Remember, right now. remember when we when we selected it and we tried to make a square yeah, mask and it, and it right. did that thing. That's so we're what gonna, we want this time. That's what we want this time, but not a square mask. Wanna, you can make masks any, any shape, shape you want, okay. uh -huh. right? Using the pen tool. Ah. So I'm gonna go from the one corner here Ooh. to the other corner, and I'm gonna draw it, ma'am, right? So it's covering. In your face. So it's only half. And now I'm just gonna adjust it so that it's a little, mm. a little bit more. Okay. There we go. So now. There's that. Okay. So real so fun. Mask. Real fun. One mask. And I'm just gonna one mask copy them all. Paste it. So oh. now there's two. two layers. Okay. Two. Oh, just, just kidding. I'm gonna copy paste. Copy is the mask. The, the correct layer. Copy paste it here. I'm gonna open it up. Open up the mask controls here. So I made a, a mask by going add, right? But now I want the exact opposite of it. So instead, I'm gonna just hit subtract. subtract. Whoa. Yeah. In other words. So you can have it where your mask reveals something. It's the inverse. Or you can have it where your mask takes, takes things away. away. Exactly. 
And this way, I don't have to be like super accurate, like picking right, out right, which yeah. where the corner is, where the corner yeah. is, because they're the exact same mask, just the opposite. In opposite. Of it. So what does it look like when yeah, you do can it? Yeah, can we see a little? Well, it's not moving at all because I haven't made any you don't animation. All but I, I want to see the mask so on the other side. That's that's the mask. And oh, that's the okay. Mask, right? Oh, there we go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's cool because it it doesn't really matter like what's inside this um, this composition. It can always change. Okay, we're we got we got to wrap up. Guys, back. you guys, one minute, chefs. Knives down. <laughs> We got to we got to wrap it we're up. Gonna, that was so fun. Was we were so fun. engrossed. So Masking. engrossed. This is so fun. I could masking. sit here all day. But that's and watch that's you a design. cool little trick. A lot of people it's a great no, I didn't realize. I did not say and that. you don't have to redo it. It's so great. I mean, these so are the things. Things. this is why we're here to share our tips, our tricks. You guys share them with us in the pod. Everybody knows so much and together we know so much more, right? Yeah. Like that's why this is super fun. Also, I want to say Rod who won our Creative Cloud challenge today. It was also his birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday to you! Happy birthday. Woo! <laughs> all from all of us here in San Francisco. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Maya, we're so sad. You're I know. Not gonna be here tomorrow, but I'm gonna be here in the comments. But you're gonna be here. Yeah. You're gonna, yeah. you're gonna be here in the comments. Um, thanks so much for joining us. We got Pablo Lozano and Shanduras coming up with Jason Levine. Slow. I just want to be when I grow up. Okay. <laughs> Maybe on my way. Um, and then don't forget, we've got Jake in motion and uh, EC Evan Abrams coming up from one to three, going really deep down in the matrix of expressions because they are genius Uh Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. That's it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.